Oh, hello everybody. We're live on YouTube. Uh, we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you guys some of the new products that I found at the Natural Products Expo West. And I have a bunch of here, here in front of me and just wanna pull up the comments here. And how's everyone doing? We got everybody on? Here we go, my channel. Pull it up. Okay. There we go. Okay, so now I can see you guys. All right, so hopefully this internet is uh, not bad. I'm in a friend's apartment where I'm staying and Got bored of editing. I wanted to go live and show you guys what I have here. Let me know if you guys can hear me okay. And it's not too, the internet's okay. It's not too uh, buggy here. All right, so let's just get into it. The lightning, I don't know how the lightning is here. It's kind of, this is all I got. So here we go. <clears throat> So some of these products you guys might have already seen. This is just everything that I got. Some of them are new. Some of them are not on the market yet. Some of them uh, you may have heard of. And some of them, like me, you probably haven't heard of. So that's cool. I always find new stuff when I go to the expos. Oh, we're a bit pixelated. I don't like that. That means the internet is not, the connection is not as good. If it's going to, if you know, if it comes out like that, then I'll just... We'll, we'll just go ahead and do this, and if I don't like the way it looks, I might take the video down after the fact, so you guys might be getting the, the only uh, live stream that we're going to see of the products before my actual videos come out, which, which, by the way, are not live interactions. So that's why this one's pretty cool. So I don't even know where to start. I got a few. I, I didn't get as much as uh, I did last year. So last year, I brought home more bags than I could. So this year I kind of kept it because you got to carry it on your shoulder. I got a black and blue mark right here on my shoulder somewhere. Hurts, you know, carrying a bag around for eight hours every day. All right, so here we go. Let's start. I don't even know what these are. Somebody just threw these in my bag. I did not pick these up myself. Puffed chips, snackins. I don't know. I I've never had these. I don't know if they're new. Because I didn't get to talk to them. So that's the other problem. Like, not a problem, but sometimes when you're carrying all these bags, when you're through, I mean, there's, what, 85, 90,000 90, people at this place, this event, four buildings full, multiple floors at this Natural Products Expo West. Uh, it's not all vegan. It's all the newest products out there, but all the vegan companies are there. So it's almost, it's so overwhelming. Uh, I've been doing it for five years now, so that's about nine or ten expos I've been to because there was one that I missed. And... Yeah, so this will be my 10th expo, and it's really overwhelming, uh, but I've done them before, so I knew what to do. I brought Noah Craig with me, who has never been to these, so he was just, he didn't know what to do, um, and it's, it's, uh, it's, it's just overwhelming. The aisles are crowded and stuff, which, you know, I'm claustrophobic, so some were better than others, but uh, it's almost impossible to meet every booth. Uh, while you're there at these uh, these events, but we did really well, and I think we got 95% of everything done. Uh, we didn't obviously we don't talk to everybody, but we zigzag through the aisles and we find the ones that we like or the ones we want. And oh, and by the way, I'm going to show you some of my favorite products that I found on this trip as well. So that was the first thing. I don't know. These are Chesapeake Bay, and like I said, walking through the crowds of people, sometimes people will see you and they, they want to put their product in your bag because they want their product to get out there. Um, so yeah, snacking, this is Puffed Chips by Chesapeake Bay. And the first thing I had to do when I found these in my bag was to look at it and make sure they were vegan, which they are, so that's a good thing. Uh, that's the first thing we got there. Uh, I got my No Evil hoodie that I got from No Evil Foods. They were there. Uh, Noah Craig right now, um, he stayed with me here uh, when we got we got home really late at night. I mean, these things drain you. I, I passed out right when I got home. He, he slept on that couch right there, and he is now on a plane home to Syracuse. So uh, he had a much smaller luggage than I, so he didn't bring everything with him. So he left a few things here. And by the way, 
Also, my favorite product that I'm about to talk about, he got one of them, and they took it from him at TSA. So that was very sad and unfortunate. Anyway, so let's see. This, uh, so there are some frozen things that are in the freezer right now, in the refrigerator and the freezer, that I have the box for to show you. This is by Holy Vegan. Holy Vegan. And I have not tried these yet, but they were, they were giving these out at the expo and also later on i missed them at the expo but i saw them at the vegan meetup and they gave me a box of these so i really want to try them they're like these little veggie bites it's always cool also when you get to meet the people behind the companies and you can ask them questions about their product yeah i can see it all pixelating i don't like this this is not good internet should be working here and it's not hmm should we continue Um, I just got off the phone with Cesar as well. We've been doing a lot of videos for you guys and I think they're gonna be fun Because we had fun making them. I got to try some new food new restaurants Okay, we're gonna we're gonna continue All right, I guess we're doing it. Uh, you guys have seen this before these are this should be in the refrigerator now But good belly good belly probiotic shots. These are all all their, their drinks are vegan and uh, what what did they say 20 billion probiotics in here and I have had these um, Before so these aren't exactly new to me. They have two new flavors Actually, no, no, no. These ones are the new ones. Sorry. This is uh, lemon ginger and vanilla chamomile So these are the two new by good belly and they these are the shots. Okay, so they also have like a, a pint containers of them and they also have like a um, Almost like a subtle, not a kombucha, but like an alternative to a kombucha, uh, which I didn't try that one because I don't do the sparkling, but uh, I, I do try these. And Craig tried the other one, so he could, if he was here, he could tell you that they were good. Um, just put these over on the side. Oh, and I have something else that I didn't get the expo over here. That if you stick stick around through the end of the video, I'll show you what those are. And I'm, I can I can see that you, you might be excited to see these um, if you're. If you're watching and you're vegan and you're, I'll just, we'll just, we'll wait till the end. We'll wait till the end. Um, Forager. Forager, you guys probably know Forager. They, they snuck these in my bag too. Um, I'm not going to complain. Just greens. I talked uh, to the people at Forager and they gave me a drink. They gave me a nice chocolatey drink. And they make yogurts and milks and uh, chips. So these are organic leafy green tortilla chips. Spinach and four ancient grains, cal and sea salt. I don't think I've tried these ones before. Uh, and I do have, while, while I'm at it, I can see another one over here. I have not tried these. These are the wasabi green. All right. Uh, okay. What else do we have? I, I have showed you these before, but I'm just going to show you again real quick. Pitos. I saw these last year at the expo and got them, but these are like um, a vegan Cheeto. This is a masala and this is a fiery hot, which it's not too hot for me to eat. I'm, I'm not good when it comes to spicy, but these are, these are still good and they're all vegan. Now they have one or two flavors that are not vegan, so if you see these in the store, don't just randomly pick them up. Make sure it's either masala or the fire and these are vegan, so pretty good. did I find here these are organic vitamin b12 gummy and pretty tasty organic b12 gummy now these were interesting compost your fork so this is a it's a very sturdy fork in a spoon very com um, compostable and this is just a sample they normally come with 12 in here I tried one out when I say tried it out, I didn't eat off it. I just picked it up and it's very, very durable in there. Let's see if I can take one out. Since you guys are watching at home. Ooh, I found something else in there too. Okay, so fork, spoon. And you can actually take these when you're done and just throw them in a compost bin in your backyard and they will compost. So that's pretty cool. I like that. Uh, 
Um, Unreal. Unreal it has the chocolates, the, the vegan like M&M's, the vegan uh, peanut butter cups. I've showed you those before. They have a couple new products that I have with me. And I can only, I only have one of them in front of me right now, but somewhere in these bags I can, so basically what I'm saying is these aren't going to be in order. So, but this is, this is cool. This isn't for me because I don't like, I never liked these. I like, I never like mounds, but this is, those of you that like coconut, this is like an unreal mounds bar kind of thing, vegan. So these are brand new. So, and I have showed you these from Edward and Sons. Edward and Son uh, carry a whole bunch of vegan things. They have the Roadside Mac and Cheese, the Wizards Worcestershire sauce, Worcester sauce, and then these. These are super good. These are the hazelnut. They have the cocoa ones too. But we were talking there. I was talking with the owner, and we both agreed that the hazelnut ones were our favorite. No, and Craig thought so too. So the hazelnut. These are like little cracker straws filled with like a hazelnut chocolatey thing. So am I making you guys hungry? I don't know. I'm making myself hungry. What else do we got here? All right, so if you like to make a lot of Asian foods, authentic tasting, but you gotta make sure there's no fish sauce in your food, like pad thai and stuff like that, stir fries, when you go order these at um, restaurants. But answer, bam, vegan, fish sauce and apparently this is I haven't tried this but this is supposed to taste um, very authentic to real fish sauce which doesn't really appeal to me when you hear about it but the taste that people like when they have their uh, familiar dishes well now we have vegan fish sauce so I am excited to try this out um, normally I'll just use the Worcester sauce but maybe we should make some pad thai with this what do you think 24 Vegan, that's the uh, company, 24 Vegan. It seemed really nice. And they have, uh, they gave me a bunch of little sample ones too. Oh, Vegan Smart, badass vegan. John Lewis has, uh, he's one of the co-owners for Vegan Smart. It's the protein powder company. It's uh, really, really good protein powder. This is the berry, berry, yeah, all in one organic. Wild berries. Uh, I personally like the vanilla original. What else we got? I have showed you these before, but I want to show you again just because I like them. Free to be foods is all an allergen, all allergen free chocolate and uh, butters and stuff. They're, this is their mint cup. All on an allergen free dedicated equipment. So no nuts and all the other things that people with a lot of allergies have in common uh, can't eat. So these are the answer to that. And these are super good. And I think Craig, when he got up in the morning, he had one of these because it fresh, you know, minty, freshens your breath, didn't feel like brushing his teeth. Bam, had one of these. Snuck it. I caught him. Bam. Okay. What else we got in here? Okay, so Loma Linda is a, is a company that's been making vegan stuff since before the word vegan was coined in 1944. So we have Loma Linda. Different, they have different um, microwave, like heat up, heat, you can heat up like a bag of uh, pad thai and different uh, linguine, all that stuff. But they also have this tuna. They had tuna, tuna, tuna. Mix that with some vegan aids or something. We have a lemon pepper and a spring water by Loma Linda. There you go, over 100 years. We've all probably seen these before. These are not new. These are the Enjoy Life chips. They also have the chocolate chunks, vegan. The chocolate bars are all vegan, with the exception of the Rice Krispie ones. They have honey in them. 95% of their products are vegan, but the other 5% have honey in them. So I, I talked to them and said, hey, get that honey out of there. Use something different. Use uh, a vegan honey or agave or something, just make everything vegan, much easier. That's what you get to do when you talk to the different companies and they hear you, they hear it. Because I got some other good news coming up too about some of those companies. So here's another uh, one by uh, the, the Badass Vegan, uh, Vegan Smart. This is the chocolate fudge. 
I got a few of those packs with me. Not everything here, by the way, is food. So we have some things that are different vegan products, but not food. And, I, and it's funny, because I got, I got a story behind almost all of these, but I don't wanna, you'll see it in the videos that I took when I get around to editing them. A lot of work. I'm not sure what this is. Maybe some of you guys would know, but I don't really know. This is a, oh, so I probably wanna use this. This is a hemp Hercules tincture. I don't know. I don't know any, anything about this stuff, but it's in my bag. Tincture. Oh, here we go. So I'm very happy to announce that Morningstar has a bunch of vegan products. Again. So this is something a lot of people don't know. So Morningstar, and these are these are really good, by the way, these chicken nuggets. Morningstar chicken nuggets that are vegan now. So um, Morningstar. So you all know that I've been vegan for a very long time. So back in the day, Morningstar was vegan across the board. And then they decided they had to put some extra protein in their stuff when the protein craze came. So they started putting egg whites and eggs in their product, in their vegan products that are now no longer vegan. So people like me that were vegan, um, and I told this to them, I talked to the, to the people, to the head people there, and I said, look, you know, I used to eat your products back in the day, and then they weren't vegan anymore. So, you know, as far as me and a, a bunch of my other friends that were vegan, that trusted your company that would see Morningstar and grab your products, it got to the point where I wouldn't even look at your products anymore. Like when I went to the store, I would just glance over them and go to the next thing. And I would never look back. And so all these years later, they finally announced that they are going to turn all of their products vegan. So it's not immediate, but by 20, 21, I believe everything that they make will be vegan once again. And they do have uh, a really good burger right now that's vegan and the chicken nuggets are vegan, which they didn't have for the longest time. But if you go way back to the prehistoric days, you will find that they used to have a lot of vegan products. All right, what else do we have here? Okay, so my good friends over at Eat Pastry, Jesse and Fredo. They have vegan cookie dough, but now their new product are cookie dough bites. So they have uh, peanut butter, uh, they have chocolate chip, and I think they have um, a chocolate brownie or chocolate chocolate chip. Uh, these are vegan, dairy-free, egg-free, soy-free, all vegan. Um, you know, they're friends of mine, so this is their product. And you've probably seen them in your stores and their um, brightly colored little bins of cookie dough. And a lot of times people don't make cookies with them because they end up eating all the cookie dough. Kind of getting thirsty over here, but this is a popping bottle. And one of the employees there ran over and grabbed me and said, you gotta come over and try this out. And they had something uh, without, without caffeine that I could try. So it was a golden turmeric almond latte right here. And it was uh, it's pretty good. I have another one in the refrigerator, so I might drink that later. But that's really good. Pop and bottle. They have all a bunch of different kinds too. If you do drink coffee and stuff like that, they have other things for you. God, there's so much stuff here. I don't know. Okay, so all right, let's just go into some. Okay, so these aren't uh, food related, but this is Schmitz, which is a vegan uh, company. This is uh, body wash. So this is. Activated charcoal. I've tried their cedar wood and their jasmine before. Actually, I still have that at home. And then their brand new one, Lily of the Valley. Lily of the Valley. And I don't know what they smell like right now because they're they're sealed so I can travel. But I'm excited to find uh, new um, products for the, for the bathroom and stuff. Um, they also have I'm just gonna have to pull these out as, as I go, but they have uh, mint berry toothpaste. They have a lot of different toothpaste, which I wanna show you, but I can't find them all right now, so I'll show you as we go on. This is the kids. Actually, they said, I, I asked them, I said, is it just for kids? They said, it's for kids and fun adults. So this, I'm, I'm in that category, so bam. 
I'm the kid. I'm not the fun adult. Anyway, anyway, you guys have all seen hippies. Hippies, these are like kind of a, uh, you guys have probably tried them. This is the, the vegan white cheddar, which is my favorite flavor. And they're just basically like uh, cheese puffs, but vegan. And that's awesome. And Leonardo DiCaprio is a big investor in this company. Go vegan, Leo. Go vegan. All right, so there's a really cool story with this. If you, you know what? It probably disappeared. My, uh, my, my Instagram story, it only stays up for 24 hours, but I will post the actual video, which I was excited about. So I was walking by, this is the end of the expo and we're trying to like, cause they kick you out right when, it, when it's over. And we were trying to get over to Good Catch Foods. Um, cause my, my buddy Chad, he's one of the owners there and he was going to hook us up with some, uh, with some food before we left. So we're trying to like head down there before they kick us out. And we passed this booth, which there was this, this, um, lady and she was all done up green. She looked like a green, um, goddess of the forest. And she was standing so still that I didn't think she, I was like, is that a mannequin or is that a real person? And we already walked by and I looked at Craig, I'm like, we have to go back. So we went back and I wanted to get a picture with her. So I guess, let's get a video together. So I went up, I'm like, get a video. And then she starts like moving really slow towards me. And it was really cool. And then the, um, the CEO there comes over and grabs me and she shows me her product, which said all raw vegan and stuff. So I was like, oh, sweet. And the story behind that was, is, um, this lady, the green goddess, is from a very poor part of uh, Peru, and she would do street performance like that just to make enough money to support her, her and her kid. And they found her down there, and they hired her. They hire her to do this for their company now. So um, happy ending there. So that's really cool. But anyway, they have. They made this uh, raw vegan like caviar, which I was hesitant to try, but it was really good. And then this um, quinoa kind of hummus, which was also really good. And then some other things. And I didn't want to take too many. She was trying to give me like all kinds of stuff, which normally I would have said, yeah, I'd like to try it all. But um, I'm traveling, so I don't have a lot of room and a lot of weight. You know, you know how that goes when you're traveling. So but this is what she did give me. This is a white sesame, organic white sesame seed. So I'm going to try to make something with that. And also black sesame, which she said is very rare. So I'm, I'm excited to try these in the kitchen. Yeah, she very much looked like the Jolly Green Giant. Um, I'd show you a picture, but uh, I'm actually using my phone. This isn't the best setup, by the way, because I am traveling. Normally, I would have a better microphone and better camera on there, but Actually, the, the iPhone is a good camera, but the internet is not really working right now for you guys. These, I think I've showed you these before. These are, I just grabbed a package of these. They're pretty good. Um, they're just mango crisp, dehydrated mangoes. And I, I seem to like them a lot. What is this? Somebody just threw this at me. I don't know what this is. I really don't. It's some kind of protein powder. powder. And it is, I did make sure it was vegan. So when I'm at the expo and I'm walking through and people, because people try to drag you in immediately. And when they do that, the first question I ask so I don't waste their time or mine is like, is it vegan? And they're like, oh no, but it's gluten free. I was like, sorry. Um, but this is vegan. This is, a, I, they just gave me some protein powder and I don't know what that is. And a pen, essential electrolytes. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so Purely Elizabeth, um, you guys may have heard of Purely Elizabeth. She's got some like cereals, granolas, stuff like this. I have not tried this. This is a Kali hot cereal. I'm assuming it's like a, yeah, it's a cauliflower based breakfast. Can't tell you how it is because I haven't tried it. But she also has the cinnamon almond. Right there. And then also strawberry hazelnut and I did get a bag which I can't see a bag of um, vanilla vanilla I see my favorite flavors are vanilla even if I mix chocolate into it just vanilla base 
Well, I'm excited to get to some of these here. I've already shown you guys these, so just real quick, Neat Foods has different things. They have a neat, they also have a neat egg, which is only like two ingredients. It works really well when you're cooking and stuff. These are the pancakes, the cinnamon pecan pancakes. I've got these, and if you guys get vegan cuts, you may have seen these in your vegan cuts. Um, those are not a, a brand new product, but worthy of mentioning there. And I've already showed you those. I don't know what this is. Terraflora. Terraflora, maybe you guys can know what that is. Maybe you guys can know what that is. Um, maybe you guys do know what that is. I don't know. And the lighting in here isn't the best for me to be reading this right now. Broad spectrum, advanced gut microbiome, micro gut support. Okay, vegan, vegan gut support. Support. All right, this is a cake, vegan cake by Smart Cake. Interesting, I haven't tried it. It looks more like a cup, like they come with two cupcakes. I don't know, I haven't tried it. Some really good uh, toothpaste is from the company um, Magic Mud. So they have a lot of like charcoal based and then they have a new, is this the one that she gave me that's, this is a whitening. This is spearmint, this isn't the one that I was going to there's also Tom's. We, we, we saw Tom's there as well. Um, here's another one, whitening. They also have some vegan dental floss, which I was excited because not many companies have vegan dental floss. I got the Humble Brush, which is an eco-friendly bamboo brush. And vegan right there, because sometimes they're not. You'd be surprised. I found a brush that was like bamboo and everything, and. I don't know, I always ask the company, uh, is it vegan? And you normally wouldn't ask about a toothbrush, but I did and it turned out it, the one that I was, not this one, but there was another one that wasn't vegan. Something with the bristles. And that, was, uh, that wasn't this year, that was uh, a different year. Magic Mud. Okay, so the, the Magic Mud also has a charcoal infused toothbrush right there. Look at that. So, have not tried it yet. Haven't tried that. And they have like powders. This is a whitening tooth powder. That's one of the other ones. It's not the one that I'm looking for to show you. All vegan. Everything I'm showing you here is vegan. Uh, West Coast, this, yes, if you're just joining us, this is my haul from some of the things that I want to show you guys from the Expo West. Uh, not as big as, um, uh, I mean, when I say not as big, I haven't brought home as much stuff as I normally do from the other Expos, but um, Expo West is in Anaheim, California. Every March. And then it's every September on Expo East, which is in Baltimore. Forgot the company name, let's see here. What's the company name say? Simply Straws. Simply Straws, this is an eco-friendly steel straw. Inside here, I can't reach it, but there's a brush cleaner that comes out. This is good for travel. And um, better than those plastic straws by far. You can bring this with you, travel with it, stuff like that. Oh, and you're probably wondering like, what did you just hit that was that, that made that noise? So Clean Canteen. Clean Canteen hooked me up with a couple canteens here. And these are state of the art. They own the patent for it. Um, we actually talked a little bit about my movie plans, vegan zombie movie. So that was fun. And the guy there is really cool. I've already seen these. Uh, Radius is uh, the dental floss that I use now. Radius, they have a cinnamon and they also have a mint which I actually have in my travel bag in the bathroom. But Radius is a great vegan uh, dental floss. Because a lot of people are probably on their way, I didn't know dental floss wasn't vegan, but yep. Most of it's not. Super Seeds, bunch of seeds. Really good too. 
Really good. Are we out here? So we got lots of stuff. So Yo Murph, you guys have probably seen these before. I'm not sure if these ones right here are brand new or not. Yo Murph had some really good vegan gummies. Um, hey, no egg Craig's on here. It Cesar ate all the Nautimu, yeah. Yeah, it happens. Not that well enough. Craig, we can't we can't we can't mention some of the things that we're gonna talk about in the end. Shh. I already told him you got confiscated though. We're gonna save it for the end. Um, Yum Earth. Be careful because not all of their products are vegan. I did talk to them and said, come on guys, make it all vegan. The non-vegans won't even know. These are these are good. These are real good. So, but if you're looking, I don't know, maybe you're uh, looking, you're like me and you're looking for some gummies, or maybe you're looking to throw these in your kid's snack box when they go to school. I would have thanked my parents if they gave me these when I went to school. Instead, I got Twinkies and Ho-Hos. Myers, you guys probably heard of the, the company Myers. They have like hand soaps and dish soaps and sprays and scents. And I won this because I got it right when I was smelling the scents and uh, putting the stickers or the magnets where they belong. I got a little help. All right, there's a lot of these in here, so I got hooked up with these. So these are also Enjoy Life. These are the mini cookies. And you probably have seen that. Um, no, it wasn't boar hair that, that, that made it not vegan. There was something else about it that was, uh, I don't remember what it was, but it didn't. Yeah, I can't remember. It definitely wasn't boar hair. Um, all right. So my favorite vitamins that I have been using, like, so if you guys see my, my videos, my health videos and stuff, um, being vegan as long as I have, I never took vitamins all those years. And I just decided in the last year or so to start taking some B12 and D3 vitamins and some omegas. And I found, like I showed you those other B12 gummies, but my favorite company right now that I use, and I do link these below in every one of my videos, is by Herbaland, which they have... They totally hooked me up here because I was like, I told them I was like low on my B12 D3. So they hooked me up with a bag of gummies. These are the D3 B12. And those are like the main vitamins that a lot of people take, the B12 D3. And it's hard to find D3 that's vegan. Uh, these are vegan and all of their gummies taste different. And I will say that these ones taste the best. So if you're looking for a good B12 D3 vitamin, check out Herbaland and they have gummies for kids gummies for adults um, and I know a lot of you on my live streams and in my videos have commented and wanted gummies or vitamins for your hair and they do they have vitamin for your hair as well so they give me a few of these right here so I'm hooked up on my gummies for, this has got to be a, a year supply. I mean, this is a huge bag. Look at that. They don't sell bags like this, by the way. If you look at the back, it says not for retail. This was like a sample bag they brought with them to set up their booth. So uh, a lot of companies bring extra product with them. And then at the end of the expo, if they have abundant supply, they don't want to travel with it. So they just give it away to whoever's there. So they hooked me up with that, which was awesome. In the, in the refrigerator, I have these, but I have the box right here. Hodo soy. Hodo soy. Now, this is one of the best tofu. Okay, this is the best tofu I've had. And they have different flavors. They have the curry. They have the five spice nuggets. Delicious. If you guys have had sofritas at Chipotle, this is the tofu that they use by Hodo soy. Highly recommend, recommend Hodo Soy if you're looking for a good tofu. They have several different flavors. If you don't like one, try, try another one. Okay, so here's some more Unreal. Unreal has the peanut butter cups that are vegan. Bam, bam, bam. Almost all of their products are vegan. They do have two that aren't. They have a, um, a milk chocolate M&M kind of thing, and then I think a peanut butter cup 
but they have like three or four peanut butter cups that are vegan and they're, they're certified vegan and they're really good. So, oh yeah, and then we got some baby food. My, um, both of my brothers have kids and they're about to have another one. So I grabbed some baby food. So maybe they can try that out. Or maybe if I'm in the apocalypse long enough and there's nothing to eat, I'll have to open that. Um, cleaning, cleaning rags, tough on grease and dirt, eco-friendly. Yep, yep. So it looks like we're getting to the good stuff. Oh, look at this. This would be perfect for my first aid kit, zombie apocalypse. Uh, Eagle friendly burn and blister band aids and bamboo hypoallergenic breathable bandages. So there we go. Zombie comes in, tries to bite me, and all I do is get a scratch from like trying to run away, and boom, band aid. Or maybe you just cut yourself. I don't know. Uh, back to the Enjoy Life, they have these breast, breakfast ovals. Not breast fist, but breakfast. Breakfast ovals. All right, where, what are we on here? Um, chick bean crisps. Kind of like just some crackers. I don't know if I've had those before. I'm going to save these for last, so I'm not going to show you that yet. And also... I'm gonna show, save these for last as well. So third from last, second from last. Um, little little um, samples of that vegan fish sauce. What else do we have in here? Oh, look at this. This is a veggie meal. This is a pin from Follow Your Heart. We were collecting some swag while we were out there too. I got a few hats. Got this hat right here. Cesar gave me this hat though. Oh, so this is the other new product by Unreal. So normally they have, where is it? I don't, I can't see. I, there's a bag of peanut butter cups. And I do have it somewhere, but where, I don't know. No, I can't find it. But anyway, these, these are new. These are uh, the two. So you can buy, instead of buying a whole bag of them, you got like two little peanut butter cups. And this is almond butter. See, it's vegan, gluten-free, all that good stuff. Bam. And this, I don't know what this is. I mean, I know what it is, but I've never seen it. It's, uh, it's vegan, so I grabbed it. Vegan chocolate bar. By Nordy. Nordy. Is that Edward Norton's nickname? And then this, I, I won't use this either, but I'll give this to somebody. This is like some kind of hemp cream. Bam. Okay, so this is the new thing that was cool. And uh, I think when Craig got one, he was like, oh my God, all this stuff is for free. I'm like, Craig, there's a lot of things people are going to be giving you. Path water, okay? So this, their story is pretty interesting. And I have the guy on video, the owner on video, telling you guys way more than I can tell you. But basically, this, this is a sturdy bottle, and they're not trying to sell water. They said water is a human right. Water, everybody should have water. So even though their water is the purest of the pure water uh, with a good pH, the water is not what they're selling. They're selling the bottle. And this is a, a nice, hard aluminum that will keep your water cold or hot, no matter. It's almost like a thermos. And aluminum, unlike plastic, is the most abundant recyclable material on the planet um, but you don't have to recycle this you can keep this and refill it and the price point on one of these is is surprisingly I think he said like a dollar 29 something like that dollar 29 to a dollar 99 but that for a bottle of water like I mean I think a smart water is more than that and that's a bottle plus plastic so I was excited about that that's cool um, so you grab one of these and you just refill them. I don't know. I mean, I do know, but that's what I think. Oh, and here it are. That's the other thing I was trying to show you. These are normally what the peanut butter cups come in for Unreal. And then the um, 
so that's the new one. We have a little single pack. They are really good. What else do we have here? Chocolate. I don't remember going to this company to get chocolate. Maybe they threw that in my bag. I don't know. But it's from a company called, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's Vosges, V-O-S-G-E-S. It might be, I don't know, that might be French, I don't know. Chocolate, and this is a banana, banana coconut. Maybe I'll give that to my mom. She likes chocolate. I mean, I like chocolate, but wouldn't it be nice if I gave it to my mom? All right, turmeric latte, turmeric latte by Navitas. Where are we at now? We're getting near the end. Oh, and here it is. Here's the vegan dental floss by Magic Mud. And it looks like it's charcoal infused. It is. Activated charcoal. Peppermint. Their toothpaste tastes really good. And this right here, and this right here, these are no egg Craig's. He left them here. He didn't want to check the bag. And TSA Armenis, they like to take that stuff from you, so. This is interesting. I don't know what this is. And I, this is a vegan collagen booster. Can somebody tell me what that is? Vegan collagen booster. It, it feels like a powder. Suggested use. Mix with 10 ounces of water and pour over your head. I'm just, I don't know. I'm just made that up. Alrighty. Looks like we're done with this bag. Yeah, so everything. This is worth talking about, but th so these are jerky bites. Obviously, I don't think they would sell them like this, but this was a sample and Improved nature um, I Mean I don't really even know how to tell you how to get these or where to find them But I do know that they were they were really good. It's like a soy jerky. All right. We are done With that bag we have a couple more little bags to show you guys and then the surprise at the end All right, so all right, the next bag, I already, sh okay, so here was the other stuff that I started to show you some of it, but this is back from Schmitz, which is a vegan, uh, like, company for products, uh, mouthwash and soaps and shampoos and stuff. So this is uh, Wonderment mouthwash. I haven't tried it yet, um, but the way she explained it to me, you're gonna have to watch the video because I don't remember how she explained it. I mean, I kind of do, but there was a lot going on yesterday. But anyway, it sounded good, so I, out of their flavors that they had, I said, why don't we try the Wonder Mint? It just sounded cool. I don't know, I'm a sucker. And then, oh, I already showed you that because that was my version of Craig's. And Coconut Pineapple, which is another kids and adult, uh, fun adult toothpaste, all right? What else we got? Oh, we have a Sun Warrior protein in there. What's that doing in there? Sun Warrior is another really good protein. I think this is a all raw vegan. This is a vanilla, because I'm a sucker for vanilla. And this is the other cinnamon almond hot cereal by Purely Elizabeth. See, I told you things were gonna be out of order. And then watermelon strawberry. Ooh, doesn't that sound good for a, a kid's toothpaste? Are we brushing our teeth with this or are we eating it? Um, actually I was talking this to one of the, was it that one? One of the, you can actually eat it. It was all ingredients that you could eat and not get sick. But I wouldn't recommend eating your toothpaste anyway. Um, they have deodorant. Now, for me, and I've heard a lot of other people say the same thing, I have looked for uh, a good vegan and organic natural deodorant for many, 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 many years since I first went vegetarian and then vegan. And I couldn't find anyone that actually worked. For me, Schmitz actually works. And right now I'm currently using like a cedarwood one. And then there's a, 
I forget what the other one is, maybe a jasmine something or another. But uh, this is a moonflower. And it, it smells like, um, like what you would think a flower would smell like on the moon. So it smells good. Okay, I'm going to tell you this one too. You'll see it in the video, but I, I, so I interviewed Chuck Norris's wife. Okay, I'm a, I grew up watching Chuck Norris movies. I'm a huge fan of Chuck Norris. I know a lot of people know him uh, for the Chuck Norris jokes. It's funny, today's his birthday. Today is Chuck Norris's birthday. He turned 79. No, 79 turned Chuck Norris. So Chuck Norris, so, I, so I'm interviewing his, his wife because Chuck Norris has a water line, Sea Force. Now, for those of you looking at the bottle, hold on one second. So Sea Force is his water. He owns a natural spring. He owns a ranch, and there's a natural spring on his ranch that goes back to like the Ice Age or whatever. And it's all pure natural water. I mean, she can tell you more than I can about that. But um, so here's what here's what I have to say to this. Okay, yeah, you're right. It's in a bottle. However, Chuck Norris, he's not a vegan, and he could probably do so many other things on his ranch, like make beef jerky or have a meat line or something, but he's not. He has a natural water company, okay? So I give, them, I give him props for that. And my favorite movie by Chuck Norris, a lot of people know him as Walker, Texas Ranger, stuff like that. Um, the movie that I most like with Chuck Norris is a very rare movie, not many people know it, um, Lone Wolf McQuaid. And I love that movie. And I, w I told her about it. And uh, yeah, we had a good talk. And while we were talking, we were taking a, we, we took a picture. And while we were, t Craig was taking our picture on her phone. And while we were taking the picture, she got a call. And Craig's like, oh, you're getting a call. And turns it over and she goes, oh, and she hangs up. She goes, that was just my mo mother-in-law. And I'm like, she just hung up on Chuck Norris's mom uh, to take a picture with me. So that was... That was pretty, I mean, that's the closest I've been to Chuck Norris. Um, I, I hope to meet him. That'd be cool if I could meet him. But I don't think he's ever going to go to an expo because you could imagine how many people would be crowding around the Chuck Norris booth. Or would the Chuck Norris booth be crowding around them? That's one to think about. So purely Elizabeth pumpkin spice. This is like a pumpkin spice granola. Yeah, it is. Certified V. All right, and then the last thing I have in here is water wood. It's uh, another Schmitz deodorant. Let's smell that. It smells, it smells good. It smells like, it smells like um, I went over to my aunt and uncle's really nice house and then I went in the bathroom to wash my hands and I smelled this nice refreshing bathroom scent that's what that's what it smells like all right that's that bag now we have just a small little goodie bag from Miyoko Miyoko's kitchen hung out with Miyoko a little bit yesterday and I'm excited what I got here because I've been thinking about doing this for many years what would you guys think if I made these little vegan zombie um, cutting boards. I like this. This is a Miyoko's cutting board. Perfect for her vegan cheeses and crackers and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. And also, I got one of her shirts. Bam, Miyoko's. Bam, plants, not cows. Plant dairy. And then nothing else in there. Just a couple coupons. I mean, I cook enough pizza with that cheese, so, you know, maybe I can come up with something new. What else here? I think there's, oh, we're almost at the end. Okay, so we're going to kind of get to the, um, okay, so let's see how I'm going to do this. So this was interesting. This is a Nutty Infusion Salted Caramel Cashew Butter. This was, so the chef that developed this, I actually met 
three, four years ago at, at one of the expos, um, Chef Susie Sign, and she was on MasterChef. And when I, she stopped me when I was walking by and she told me the story, this is all on video, I'm not making this up. She says, I came up with this because of you. And I'm like, what? She's like, yeah, we had a, we had a chat last time I saw you and we were talking about there wasn't really any um, decent vegan caramels out there. And, and she developed this based on our conversation and it's really good. So there's, there's that. What was I gonna show you here? Oh, okay, so this is a new product. There's a couple new products by Justin's. So these are Justin's cashew covered cashews. I know that's a lot. Cashew, cover, cashew butter covered cashews. They also have almond butter covered almonds. They're both really good, but these are my favorite. These ones are super good. These are a brand new item. Um, I probably shouldn't even have this right now but I went in the future in a time machine. I lost my flux capacitor, but I ended up with these. So there are, there are uh, good endings to some of these stories. And then the other thing that I'm super excited to mention here, my friends from Good Catch, finally, after years of talking about this, I've, I know we've talked about it, they've talked about it on my videos at almost every expo that we've been to, but they're finally in stores. If you guys are out there looking for a tuna that, a seafood tuna or crab cake or anything like that, that is authentic, but yet cruelty free and has all of the omegas and DHA and everything in it, look for good catch. This is a shelf stable pouch of tuna. Uh, you can put, what, what they do is they, they mix it with like vegan or something and you can make so many different things with it. Um, and there it is. You can find these at Whole Foods and a few other places. I don't remember. But they're not in Wegmans yet, so these um, I'm going to bring these home and see if I can make anything with those. All right, so I think I'm on to, I think, my favorite product that I found here. Okay, so here's the story with this. I'm walking by and... They're like, come on over here. And I didn't even really want to try what they wanted me to try. But I'm so glad that I did because it became my favorite, like not even kidding, my favorite thing. Um, this is a walnut butter by Wellnut Farms, okay? These are made from walnuts. And this one is a salted caramel. And when I tasted this, it was like, oh my God, this is dangerous because I could eat this whole thing. It's so, it's so good, all right? So if you ever see this, they have three flavors. They have an original and they also have a maple. This, my friends, is what Craig got confiscated at TSA just hours ago. They, they took this. So there's some TSA agents out there that are going to have a very good night. They have this, okay? Um, Walnut Farms, I've, I forget where they're from or where you can buy them because I was only focused on how good it tasted. But they, uh, they gave me a little thing of it. So there it is. That was my favorite item that I told everybody. Because the thing about Expos is every time you see somebody that you know, they ask you, what is your favorite thing that you found? And you got to tell them. And there was a lot of favorite things that I found, but the one thing that stood out was that. All right. So then the other thing that I wanted to show you at the end was last night we went to several vegan places to eat for the video with Cesar. God, we had we had a really good time. Um, we did some pretty epic things with Nadamu, if you guys saw that on live for a little bit. But then we went to the best, not just vegan, but the best donuts ever. These are, these are all vegan donut friends. And if you guys aren't familiar, you guys that are familiar, you know what I'm talking about. And I'm sorry, because they're all, <laughs> They're all half eaten. Um, Craig wasn't even a donut guy and he tried one today and he loved it. Um, but yeah, they're all kind of eaten. But this one's still intact. This is called the Polar Berry Club. This is a... Sometimes donuts are healthy. This is a raspberry and a blueberry. Blueberry? No, that's just a piece of a raspberry, I think. Mm -mm -mm. 
So the donuts here are all vegan. They're all named after bands like Polar Bear Club. It's named after the Polar Bear Club. Um, I forget what that one is, but this one, like you can see, I kind of munched on it today. And it's got like speculized butter or something in the middle. And it's way too good. Like I got to put them away. But yeah, these donuts are amazing. And... Sorry I didn't answer any questions here because, you know, doing this, I couldn't read any of the questions. Uh, the TSA took Craig's um, well nut butter because he didn't check his bag and you can't bring stuff like that because who knows, you might smear the peanut butter all over the window and then boom, you don't want that to happen. You know, stuff like MacGyver. I mean, if MacGyver was never around, we wouldn't know these things. So we're having a good time out here. I'm only out here for a couple more days, and then, and then, uh, and then I go back to Syracuse where it's really cold, and I edit my videos so you guys can see these. Donut. Uh, donuts can be vegan, so that's one of the best things you can do. Is vegan baked goods? Nobody knows the difference. You know, half the people that go to Donut Friend probably aren't even vegan and don't know that they're vegan. They just go there because they're really, really good donuts. Which is better, Expo East or West? Expo West is by far better. It's like, they call it the big brother of uh, the Expos because Expo East, people kind of skimp on. So it's it, even though it's incredibly, overwhelmingly huge, it's nowhere near as big as Expo West. Like, literally, I don't even know how to describe it if you haven't seen it, but there's four buildings now, and each building has multiple floors, and each floor is crazy, and each aisle of each floor are just filled with people and vendors. Um, not just vendors, but... So th the other thing is, um, the expo, it's not open to the public, you have to either be like a buyer or press or, you know, like own a store or something like that to go into one of these or you're an exhibitor. So you own a company that you're at. So basically it's just a bunch of people all over the entire world coming to these expos to look for new products um, or to get the word out about their products. I go as press through my YouTube channel and that is, you know, just getting the content out and showing you guys what exists. And that's what I've always loved doing is to make um, vegan veganism easier. Um, however, I can do that. And if that's showing you guys what new products are out there existing, uh, that doesn't mean you have to buy any of these products. That just means you've heard of it and you know they exist. So you can buy a vegan version of something rather than having to feel like you have to get something that's non-vegan. Um, yes, they have a vegan, so if somebody likes, I, I was never a fan of tuna, but if you have uh, a family member or a friend that loves tuna fish sandwiches or something, and, you know, they said, oh, I'll go vegan, but I love my tuna, well, there you go. Give them one of these, and they might not even know the difference. It tastes very, very similar, and it's made with six beans. It's high in all kinds of stuff. Contains 350 megagrams, milligrams of DHA, protein. It's got, they call it chunk albacore texture. Um, all vegan, cruelty free. And my friends from uh, Wicked Healthy, uh, Derek and Chad Sarno, are they, they are the owners. Um, with a couple, they're, they're the co-owners. There they are right there on the back. So, saw them both while I was there. Getting up into the 50s? Wow, that's what it is right now. It's about 51 to 55. It went up to 60 today here. Yeah, and a lot of the stuff you can, if you can't find here, you can buy, you know, a lot of the stuff's on Amazon. Um, and then there's Vegan Essentials. Has anybody tried Carl Jr.'s Beyond Star? Oh, you know, okay, so, I don't know if I should tell that story. I'll save that for the for the video that I edit. 
I had to I had to call a company out while I was there for something they did that wasn't cool. Um, but I have it on video, so we'll we'll get to that when I edit it. Other than that, is there any questions that if you guys already went through? Maybe ask it again real quick if I didn't get to it. Mark case. Yeah, oh, that's right. Jasmine says Thrive Market too. So yeah, so Thrive Market also sells a lot of good things that you can order and then they're, they're at your doorstep within a couple days. So is there anything that hasn't been veganized yet? can't think of anything there's literally everything yeah there's there's vegan versions of anything and if there isn't something I'm sure somebody could come up with it no they have a steak they have a steak I did see Angie and Ryan um, they're in a couple of my videos and some of my insta stories and <laughs> vegan hugs um, and we're supposed to meet up maybe tomorrow or the next day we want to do a video together. Mm -hmm. I'd love to see vegan ravioli in a, a can that you can get a grocery. Well, they do have vegan ravioli. I don't, I mean, I don't think it's in a can. Um, but there's several companies that have vegan ravioli and we even have our own recipe on our channel for homemade vegan ravioli. Trini says they even have vegan, they have chicken liver. Yeah, some of the things are, they have vegan like octopus and, and all kinds of stuff, which I went to a restaurant where they had that a couple of days ago. Um, I didn't get it. I, it doesn't appeal to me. But I did try some of the vegan shrimp, which I thought was uh, house made, but I've had it before. It's, I think it's from Maywa. Maywa, New York City. Kite Hill has, yes, Kite Hill does have. I saw Kite Hill while I was there and they had some, what did they have? Some new yogurts. Pretty good. Do they have vegan type of SpaghettiOs? Or they do have, yeah, I'm, I'm sure they have everything. I haven't seen them like that, but I'm sure at some point they'll have vegan and you know all these companies that are not vegan are starting to see the trend and they're making ve now i tried i tried um like four different oat milks and i gotta say um so oatly is my standard my favorite my favorite vegan milk oatly oat milk i tried i won't say the names right now but i tried another brand of oat milk and and it was it was okay, but it, it wasn't my favorite. And then I tried two more, and the and the two other ones I tried were right there with Oatly. So there, as far as I'm concerned, there's three oat milks that I've tried that are all my favorite. So Oatly and two other brands. Um, by the way, I have not tried Oat. Oh, yeah, I have not tried that one yet. I would have to mortgage my house for a Kite Hill Ravioli. Yeah, I probably would too, Bella. We'll make sure Craig gets some more walnut butter. Oh, that's awesome. Are, are you one of the people that work for them? Did you see that I just said that that was my favorite thing of the expo? Walnut butter? They better not take mine. I will not let them take mine. I will stay in the airport till I eat it all. Uh, Bernio's. Well, I don't know. Maybe I'll make some of those chicken nuggets before I leave. Bring a spoon with me to the airport. Yeah, I'll bring one of the compostable spoons that I showed you guys at the beginning.
you don't think, okay, so anybody that thinks that vegan food doesn't taste good hasn't tried some of the vegan food that's out there. So, but then again, like if you have, if you don't like, do you not, have you not, do you not like fruit, vegetables? I mean, those are vegan. The Boca chicken patties, are that, you really? You're having trouble finding those? I see them at my Wegmans. I have had the Forager cashew yogurt. Um, just yesterday I had it. I do, I have an extra suitcase. I have a suitcase dedicated for flying home with some of the extra stuff. Um, because my main suitcase is over the 50 pound limit with the stuff that I brought with it anyway. Um, so why am I here? So why are you here? Okay. Um, you know, veganism also, if, you, if you're being honest there, is, uh, as far as like price wise, like yeah, it can get pretty pricey if you're buying some of the processed foods. But if you're going for the, the staples, which you can buy in bulk and stuff, it's not expensive. Anybody can do it. And, um, I mean, I learned to do it when I was just a, a young teenager on a budget, um, just learning how to cook my own food. It was just trial and error, really. And today, we have the internet to tell us what we can do and um, recipes and, you know, best places to shop and what to get if you're on a budget. So all of these things help us out now. Whereas I didn't have any of that when I started and it, I just, I got along fine each day without having to eat an animal product. It's really all about that. It's really, you know, I'm going to eat something because I'm a human and I have to eat in order to live. What am I going to put in my mouth and chew and swallow? Is it going to be from an animal or is it not? And believe it or not, you're pretty resourceful when you figure out that uh, animal products are not food. When you make that, that connection that they're not food, you just have to say, okay, well, what can I eat? I mean, there's only thousands of other things that I can make millions of combinations with, so am I really gonna find something to eat today? I don't know. But, you know, depending on how you do it, it can be very expensive or it can be very, very, very cheap. Um, one of the cheapest, diets you could be on um as far as what you're what you're eating day to day um but yeah like i agree so some of these things that i have in front of me are expensive but i'm not here to show like oh this is an apple this is a vegan this is an apple encased in beeswax it's not no um because that would be a boring video we already know the basics of what's vegan Yes, um, Violife and Good Planet were there. I didn't get any of their product because it would go bad. And I wasn't at their booth. I was at their booth earlier in the day, so I didn't grab it. I, the the uh, refrigerator stuff that I do have, I got at the very end of the day. And it's almost impossible to get back to certain places uh, when the expo ends because it's just, like... Like if you look at, I have my, my heart rate meter of how many steps I took each day and it was, um, um, it, it wasn't, it wasn't as much as I thought it was like five miles. So that's how much we walked with our like these really heavy bags on our shoulders. So it, yeah, um, my feet were, my feet and legs were hurting at the end of the day. Um, but yeah, good planet was there and I love their cheese and Violife was also there and I love their cheese as well. Um, Emily says, yep, stoked. You guys love it. Uh, seriously, so good. Walnut Farms. Check it out. Uh, let's see. Heather says, so bummed I was there. I kept my eyes. It's almost impossible to find somebody unless you are um, in contact, finding out where you're going to meet at because, I mean, it's just... It's overwhelmingly a huge, huge area. Um, they said like 90,000 people were there. So I'm sorry I didn't see you. Uh, there was a vegan meetup on, what, Friday night? And there was a ton of like 100, a couple hundred vegans were there. Just, it was really cool. So I got to see a lot of people.
Oh, Michael. I want to donate it so bad right now. I'm so hard. Um, well, the good thing is here in LA, there's a ton of different vegan donut places to go to. Uh, way more. Where I live, there's there are a couple. There's a Sweet Praxis. So if you're living in Syracuse, Sweet Praxis has some really good vegan donuts. Expo. So this, if you're just joining us, this is the nat. I'm. I just did the uh, product haul for the Natural Products Expo West in Anaheim, California. Aware of how to create a vegan cake. Actually, I have a really easy, delicious recipe for a vegan cake in my cookbook and my ebook on my YouTube channel. You guys go check that out. It's called a wacky cake. Um, but yeah, yeah, I've made a lot of cakes. Did I try the? I tried the ice cream. Oh, Craig just got home. That didn't seem. I didn't miss the whole live. Cool. No way, Craig made it home. That that seems like it wasn't actually that long of a flight. Maybe it probably seemed like that to you, but. So. What was I just going to say? Expo. Did I try the... Yeah, I tried the ice cream from Daya last Expo. I didn't try it this time. They have new burritos now. I think Craig liked the zesty one the best. There's a breakfast burrito and then the zesty one. Because Craig definitely went back for seconds. And then their pizza. Um, Craig got a little interview with them about their new cheeses. So, yeah, we had fun. And any more any more questions before we wrap this up? I don't even know how long we've been on. Seventy one minutes. That seems like a good good time to end it. Yeah, I don't. I the ele the vegan elephant. I don't. That is sad about that walnut butter. And and I think that those TSA agents. They, be they better at least eat it themselves because they're going to be in for a surprise what they just confiscated. Um, and it wasn't open, so the seal was on there. So hopefully they don't throw it away. And then th thank you so much, Molly, for the super chat donation. Admire you much. Love Craig and Mom Dre collabs. That's awesome. We're going to be doing more, more of those muckadoos with Craig too. A real vegan would continue this forever. Well, I don't have any reason not to continue. It's not like, I mean, I'm just sitting here in this apartment all by myself. So I could, I could continue to answer questions if you guys have them. More to come soon. Yes, you can donate on these. these this is a, it's a super chat feature. So um, if you want to support, that's always very appreciated. Is, is uh, I'd love to see their faces when they try it. Yeah, that'd be that's pro that would be a great video. They're like, oh, you can't have this on the plane. Get out of here. Is he gone? All right, let's try this out. Oh my God, try this. Oh my God, Steve, try this. Yeah, Karen, try this. Yeah, that's probably what ha happened earlier. LAX. I hope that's what happened. Race lover? Race lover. Should we have a mukbang of them trying it? We should do it. You know what? We should do that. We should do a mukbang of us all trying the walnut butter. Because seriously, when I tried this, it was like the, the word that came to my mind was dangerous. I said, this is dangerous. Because I could see myself sneaking into the kitchen more than once per night, trying this stuff out. That would be a great commercial, wouldn't it? The California pizza place? You know, I haven't gone to any California pizza places on this trip and, 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 and there's so many great ones here and I wanna go. Purgatory, Pizza, Nista, um, I, f I always forget the name of the other one. 
Uh, they have to guess what it is. Yeah, we could do that. There's three flavors. Guess what this is. I don't know, but it's delicious. Did we go through? Yeah. Oh, we didn't go through. This is just water. So this is another thing that's very good on the price point. This isn't expensive at all. And it's just water. And a nice compostable thing. And some of it is flavored. This is, um, I think this is like a tangerine flavor. Mm -mm. Water. I'm not kidding. When you go through Expo and you're trying all these different samples of different products you never um realize how much you take water for granted because a lot of times i'm like i don't want any of these other things i just i really just want some water right now um but luckily when we first went in there we got the these ones which i wish i was filming when craig got his first one because he, he freaked out he was like oh my god they just gave it to me what does walnut butter taste like? Well, I know that this walnut butter tastes absolutely delicious. And this is a salted caramel one, so it tastes even extra deliciouser. Yes, the Cruisers is the one that I was, I was talking about. Walnuts become, can come be, become rancid. I go through my walnuts pretty, pretty fast. I actually make a nice uh, parm... Parmesan cheese with my walnuts, which I will make a video for. I know I've said that. Peanut butter gives you a headache. That's not good. Who is a higher level vegan, you or Craig? We're, we're all just vegan. There's no levels to it. Vegan pizza was super close to the convention. We went there twice. We went there the first night we got there because um, there was nowhere to eat when we got to the motel. And then we went with uh, Crystal and Johnny, Vegan Makeup Share, my friend Vegan Makeup Share. And their crust is really good. Oh my God, I don't have them with me, but yes, Vegan Rob's has some new vegan products. They have um, amazing packaging too. Uh, they have these new chips, but they also have like vegan Pringles, like like what you know Pringles to be, but they have like cauliflower and different ones, and they taste very similar to Pringles. They're really good, um, guilt-free, uh, way healthier, and vegan. Can't wait for those to come out. You're in New York, where in New York? Cause I live in New York, but they have, in New York City, they have what, Screamers, which is really good. Craig says, Chris is lying after 20 years of vegan, you unlock superpowers, but he doesn't want you to know. Craig, you keep telling people this stuff. Actually this week right now, March, I don't know the exact day, it's either the 14th or the 17th, is my 29 year anniversary of going vegetarian when I was, when I was a teenager. And uh, a few years later I went vegan, but, um, so yeah, this marks my almost 30 years, wow. Do they have burritos yet? Trini, who, who, does who have burritos? Oh, and I don't have it in front of me, but Alpha Foods has tamale. Alpha Food is the one that I'm always promoting their burritos. Super duper good burritos. They also have pot pies. They now have tamales, and they also have chicken nuggets. Obviously, I don't have any with me because they would, they would, um, they would have thought out. The only reason I have these in front of me right here the Morning Star ones is because um, my friend Vegan Makeup Share and Johnny, her boyfriend Johnny, they got they were there when they were closing, and they gave them a whole case of those. So she gave me a couple couple packages there. 
She also gave Craig a couple packages. So I'm just gonna stock my friend's refrigerator. This is where I stay when I come to California. And my friend is a traveling nurse. And so she's not even here. She's in a different state. And because she's never here, there's nothing in the refrigerator. Like literally nothing. Like you open it and it's like a brand new refrigerator. Um, I put it on my Snap or my Insta story like not like a week ago. I'm like, there's nothing here. Um, but now there's um, all kinds of really cool products in there. I mean, it's not full, but there's enough to like, you know, get through a couple of weeks of the zombie apocalypse. There's some chicken nuggets if you ration them right and stuff like that. There's a lot of water and good stuff like that. And, and the vitamins. I mean, we are all good here as far as staying healthy with our vitamin D and B12. And our hair. We need good hair in the zombie apocalypse. Vegan Rob, they showed you the package and said they were coming out this year. Yeah, they said, I forget if they said like summer or whatever, but yeah. I talked to so many people, I don't remember what's coming out when. I just know what was good. I haven't left vegan thank you cards at a restaurant, no. Um, I mainly go to just vegan restaurants if I'm going to go to a restaurant. I mean, that's what I prefer. I went to a really cool one last night, an all vegan German restaurant. We got, the pretzel was amazing. Hinterhof on York Boulevard, right next to Donut Front. Right next to Donut Front. Best donuts, best German food. My friend from Germany started messaging me like, oh my God, you're in a, do you know what that means? And Hinterhof, backyard. I did not know that. Can I show the last project, product again, um, magic? Is this what you're talking about? Or did I show something that you wanted to see? This was the last one that I, that I showed because this was my favorite, Wellnut Farms. Or are you talking about the uh, vitamins that I just held up? Let me know and I'll talk about it again in a second. Three years, the vegan elephant on Thursday. Well, if I don't talk to you then, then congratulations, that's amazing. Uh, the B12, okay, yes. So this, these are my favorite, um, these are vegan gummy vitamins. And I do have these linked in most of my videos now. If you go on there, you can find out where to, where to get them. Um, these taste amazing. They are vitamin B12 and D3. They also have all kinds of other ones I showed you. They have the, the hair ones, because I know a lot of people are asking me about hair. Uh, they have omega, they have eye. Uh, I have a lot of different ones at home, but I always take this one and my Omega. And um, by chance, they are the best tasting one. They all taste different, but these ones and the Omegas are the best tasting ones, in my opinion. And the, the hair one also is really good tasting. Um, they also have, these are adult formula. They also have vitamins for kids. And I can't say any, any more good things about them because enough good things about them is what I'm trying to say. Because I really, really love them. And they hooked me up with this not for retail package. This was one of the packages they brought with them for samples to give out at the expo. And they had way too many, so they gave me this. This is like a year supply. I don't know how many are in here. I really don't, but this is going to last me a long time. I think if you buy, I think there's like 60 or something in the bottle that you buy. Um, but it's always good to at least have your B12 and D3 if you're if you're worried about getting your right the right vitamins and stuff. My B12 even before I started taking vitamins was above the normal range, so I was pretty high without taking any vitamins for all those years that I've been well that I first went vegetarian and then went vegan. Well, not farms. I have been to Champs. I actually have a video. I go there with I. I went there with Isa Moskowitz of Veganomicon. We had um, we had some fun videos that we did in New York City.
Have you tried these? Have you tried have you tried these omegas? Walnuts also give you great omegas. So does flax. Um, Dr. Gregor just recommends taking two tablespoons tablespoons of flax per day. Uh, that's the best place to get it. Um, ground flax seed. Pretty pretty cheap. I put them in every one of my smoothies that I make. Um, if I make smoothie bowls or whatever, or even sometimes when I make salads, I put the flax seed in there and it's omega-3. Uh, Piper Terrence says, I think Vegan Zombie has lots of has vlogs of champs, yes. Bada bean, bada boom. Yes, where did I where did I see that? Yes, I know that. I that's familiar. Bada bean, bada boom. I didn't see them there. Hey Jacqueline. Wellnut Farms, yes. So is there any is there any questions for those of you that have been on, saw me do the uh, showcase in each product? Is there any of these products you guys would like me to talk about a little bit more or show you guys again? If you guys have questions before I uh, cut it short. I don't think it'll be cutting it short at this point. We've been on for 86 minutes. Any other vegan egg products? Um, not that I've seen, not as far as, we got the vegan egg, we got the just egg, um, that scramble one, um, follow your heart has one. Uh, we have an egg replacer that I just showed you guys from neat foods. Vegan Zombito. Haley of the Smart Cakes. What company are the Smart Cakes? Where are those? Oh, I threw them over on the couch. Hold on. I don't know. It looks like the name of the company is Smart Cake. Smart Cake. And I don't know, I don't know how this tastes. Because I've never had it. I don't even know what flavor it is. Cinnamon. Cinnamon flavor cake. It's really hard to read the ingredients right here in this light. Anyway, it feels like there's like two little cupcakes in here. So, smart cake. You could probably Google that. Probably read more about it than I can show you on this, but. Oh, and the other thing that I didn't get that I wanted to tell you is they have a new tofu that is made with um, pumpkin seeds. So it's soy free. It tastes amazing and it's called Pumfu or something. But yeah, it's, it's going to be on the market soon. Craig accidentally ate one of these from this company at the airport. Craig, how was it? You tell us how it was. Craig also said he's not a, a fan of donuts, so he didn't get any donuts. But then I let him have one of my donuts before he left and he said it was pretty amazing so you haven't had donuts until you had donut friend and they will make them right there for you too so if you're in the area here definitely stop by donut friend might be the same one the hair vitamin close-up sorry if this camera is not really doing it I don't know is that blurry or So this is a sample pack. Normally it would come in like a, a bottle. Hot off the vegan press, saw uh, the vegan pumpkin tofu and also liked it. Yeah, it was it was good. And for those people that can't eat tofu because they're they can't do soy, boom. You can do pumpkin seeds, hopefully. Yeah, who doesn't like donuts? 
Yes, this is this is the bracelet that Cesar made for me. Uh, it's got some tourmaline in it. He could tell you everything else in it, but there's like a little skull right there. So Cesar makes bracelets. He makes these amazing bracelets, and he knows all about the um, spirituality of each of the stones and stuff like that. So um, I told him that, dude, you know, start selling your bracelets. Start selling these because people love these, and... You know, maybe he could start a business selling his bracelets and stuff, making customized ones and stuff like that. Because, um, I mean, he's he's like, he, he the kid doesn't sleep. He's he, he works like three jobs and then he goes out when I'm here and we drive around. We go to different restaurants and different vegan places and he does tons of activism for March of Silence and the Pig Vigil, which there's going to be some pretty cool stuff going on tonight where he's going right now. I said Moby's going to be there and stuff like that. And the cake that they had yesterday was amazing. I can't post it yet unless you guys saw it on the live video. Um, amazing cake made by um, Vegan by Victoria's. That will be in my video and maybe I'll post a picture after the fact, but they need to cut it tonight. Stuff like that. You probably don't even know what I'm talking about, but. <sighs> Fat tire bike. Craig said that that cake, he couldn't tell that it wasn't gluten-free, or that it was gluten-free. Um, <laughs> yeah, right, eggs and whey. There's no eggs and whey in it. Let me just make sure. Now you're making me read again. I can't see from where I'm at. I need to get glasses. Only when it's like that, really tiny though. But otherwise I can see fine. Love Cesar. Chris, Chris needs to get rid of those. Wait, are there really, is that really in there? I don't know where we got those from. Cesar should sell those bracelets. He doesn't. Yeah, you always got to check. You always got to check these companies to find out what they're doing is vegan. Even if it's a vegan company, we had a bad experience with one of the companies and I called them out. Uh, I don't know if I'll ever eat the product. Okay. So uh, thanks for watching, Michael, if you have to get going. I'm actually not tired. Um, I took a nap today. I was exhausted last night when I got back, um, passed right out, but then I got up early because Craig had to leave early. And uh, we had to, I had to get some of the video that we shot off of his memory cards, which I didn't get everything, so I still need to get some more. Um, and, then I, and then I fell asleep again for a couple hours, so I'm good now. It's probably the lighting. I always look bad in the lighting. Hate it. My face sucks in all the bad angles of the light. Yeah, there was a few, like I said, there was a bunch of people that just like slipped things in our bags without us knowing. You're welcome, guys. Okay, so I so scratch this off the list. I can't read the ingredients in the light that I'm in right now, and it's too small. But this must have been something that they threw in our bag. I guess it's not vegan. Um, scratch those cakes. Everything else here is definitely vegan. I didn't know where we got those, so that must have been another thing that somebody kind of threw in our bag. I know I always look sunburned, but I don't think I am. I don't know what it is. If you look at, if I look at my face in the mirror, I do, this doesn't show. But like when I'm on camera, it looks like I'm sunburned under here. I don't know. From Norwood, New York, about three hours north. Wow, you must be up by the border, Mike.
In Massachusetts, you ask for a vegan pizza, you even get hanged them. Huh. Let's see, where did I? I've been to a few different places in Massachusetts. That's the only place I went to Loving Hut. No, actually, it hasn't been, I mean, it's, go, it's been about the high of 60. Uh, right now it's about 50, uh, and it's been raining a lot. Every time I come out here, it rains a lot. Yeah, we, so yeah, those cakes, no go on the cakes. I wouldn't link them anyway, so we'll just scratch that. Thanks for taking the time to respond, even on Instagram, on videos. I do what I can. When I first started, I responded to every single question I got, but now it's kind of it, it's kind of impossible with all the videos I have and stuff. I try to I try to respond to everybody I can. I'm from Bangor, Maine. 150 inches of snow. Um, yeah, I have a video going there. I visited uh, Stephen King's house. Nice area. Um, but I know what you're talking about snow because as far as snow goes, I'm from the snowiest city in the United States. Yep. And then I'll be flying back there in a couple days. Am I still following the strict whole foods plant-based diet? Um, well, I just got done doing my expo, so... That would be no as far as that goes. Um, but I try to do the best I can, which is funny because I met up with um, one of the guys from uh, Happy Cow and we talked last year about me being on that diet and he said he also had really high cholesterol. So he took my advice, he went on the Esselstyn diet, then he went and got blood tested again and his cholesterol, he said his cholesterol jumped from uh, over 300 to 140. So he was thanking me for that. And then he went and got his um, um, arteries checked for calcification. And it's like on a measure of like one through 300 or something. And his was zero. So I haven't done that, but sounds like all good stuff from that diet. Sunny and warm in Pittsburgh. I love Pittsburgh. I love zombies. <laughs> um, junk food vegans is way better than whole foods, plant-based vegans. Says Race Lever. Definitely. Definitely. Donut Friend is Esselstyn approved. I've, I actually ran into um, the Esselstyn family there. And they told me what their favorite donut was. If it's got fruit on it, it's totally approved. And I did get a polar berry club. Mike says, I've been vegan now for one year. My health is wonderful. I've lost 150 pounds of pure fat. That's amazing. 95% uh, of all my past ailments are gone. There you go. That's amazing. Uh, Craig and I were uh, talking it up with our Uber driver on the way to Anaheim about... He was asking all kinds of questions about um, being vegan, so that's pretty cool. M. Gardner, uh, also vegetarian for many years and vegan for the last 14. Also had high cholesterol and really appreciated that video. That It works. I mean, if you guys... If I ever need to, you know, buckle down my health for any reason... it. Going right back on that Esselstyn, strict Esselstyn diet. I don't stay strict to it, but I still I still try to eat pretty healthy. Um, you know, what city are, am I from? I'm from Syracuse, New York. And I'm sorry if this is like pixelated and stuff. When I'm looking right here, it's all, it looks like it froze but I hope it didn't freeze for you guys. It's the internet connection out here. It's not as good as where I live. Uh, William says, I love vegan essentials. Three months. I actually just, I just ran into him a couple days ago 
yeah, I'm actually friends with them. They're they're really cool people, and uh, Vegan Essentials is a great place. Um, it's like a vegan Amazon, and you've lost 235 pounds. That's amazing. Congratulations. <laughs> uh, no lag for Craig. See, Craig and I had planned on doing a live video each day that we were there. Like, every day we're like, all right, we'll do it tonight. Okay, we didn't do it tonight. We'll do it. But we were literally out each night, like, all expo day, all night. And then when we got back to the motel, we were just, like, exhausted. And we're like, no, we can't do a live. We can't do a live. So, how is Indy doing? Indy's, Indy's doing good. You named a rescue cat after Indy. Awesome. I love the name Indy. Um, Valis is a bovine protector. Uh, that's amazing. I met um, I met Rowdy Girl. Rowdy Girl um, from Rowdy Girl Farm, Farm Sanctuary while we were out there. I, Roseanne ordered the cotton candy. I have a bin of it, but I'm not a cotton candy guy, so I haven't tried it. I have not tried the smoothie Cliff Bar. I didn't know they had one. Um, I used to eat Cliff Bars all the time. What, I don't remember what my... You know which ones I liked were the ones that were filled in the middle with almond butter, I think? But I don't remember which one. Okay, Rosie wants me to explain the Esselstyn diet. So the Esselstyn diet is a very, very... It's, it's uh, from my experience... Um, and from the science of it, it's the healthiest diet you can have, that you can be on. It's um, a very heart-healthy diet, and it is no processed foods. Obviously, it's all vegan. Um, lot, lots of greens, um, no white flours, um, no sugar, um, also no oil, which means no avocado, no nuts, Although he does mention, he does say no nuts, but he does say um, the reason he says that is because if he said, okay, you could eat nuts, people would just be eating nuts morning, day, or night. And that is true because when you're on this diet, it seems pretty restrictive. So if you're not, what I'm trying to say is you really could crave nuts for some kind of, um, you know, just to feel like you're eating certain things. I don't know. Um, so he says no nuts, but if you are going to eat nuts, only eat a handful per day. Uh, this got my cholesterol down from my LDL being 129 to being a hundred or no, to being, uh, 80, 89, which was a huge improvement in just three and a half weeks. Um, yeah, it's, it's super healthy diet for you and you can check it out by, uh, Caldwell Esselstyn, who is a renowned heart surgeon and, expert on the subject definitely check it out um and you know you could do that diet with adding certain things i think like i've added avocado back in and i've definitely added nuts back in and stuff like that i think what he's talking are people that are um very sick with heart disease how to how to how to reverse that how to save yourself from from that and the first thing to do is start eating right and it'll start healing the endothelial and your arteries and stuff like that so if you're just want to be healthy and you don't really have heart disease and and, and problems like this you probably could eat um you could probably take the the diet as like a plat, like just kind of like a, a structure of that diet, and then you might be fine doing avocados and, and nuts and stuff. Now, the one thing that I was eating a lot of, which I don't do anymore at all, were, were oils. Like I would cook with a lot of oils, but mainly coconut oil. So I guess in the, he says no oils, but I guess in the grand scheme, there are oils that are better for you than others. I always thought that coconut oil was the best oil for you, but coconut oil is 87% saturated fat, um, kind of the same as like palm oil. These are oils that become 
saturated and solid at room temperature when it's a little bit cooler. Unless you live in a place like Arizona or Texas where it's really hot, then they're going to be liquid. Um, these things are not good for your arteries, your endothelial. And so he, he says, don't, you know, your cholesterol, it spikes your cholesterol. And for me, it did. You know, some people are better than others and they have a predisposition. And I'm one of those people that if I eat coconut oil and stuff, it spikes my cholesterol, my bad cholesterol. So I avoid coconut oil as much as I can possibly. So, you know. Do you add raw nuts or any nut butter? I usually do. I usually, I eat nuts. Um, I like walnuts. I like, oh, my battery's on 10%. Um, I like making my parm cheese with walnuts and stuff like that. And I, I might have like a small handful of walnuts because they're great in omegas and stuff. And cashews, I'll make, I'll make things with cashews. And I just recently made some, before I left, I made like a nice jar of almond milk and almond butter. But, and, and I'll put either like, I usually end up putting peanut butter, like a scoop of uh, organic peanut butter in my smoothie. And that's only because almond butter and cashew butter, unless you're making it yourself, is extremely expensive. I don't have the funds for that. Yeah. So I try to avoid coconut oil now. I was misled. I thought it was a healthy oil. So... So in any videos that you see me doing the coconut, if, if it's fine with you and you don't have it, it doesn't do anything to your cholesterol, because some people it doesn't, some people are fine, but um, you know, you can always use olive oil. Olive oil is a more healthy oil as far as that goes. Uh, and this is not, I'm not saying this from my scientific, this is what I think Dr. Greger said. But when I do cook, I, I, I don't use oil anymore unless it's something like I did a video with Noe Craig and I was just trying to make stuff. Um, sometimes it's harder to make things come out right. So I was making it for other people. But I have an air fryer that is good for it and sometimes I'll use a little bit of uh, vegetable oil or um, maybe some vinegar or something like that instead of oil, just a little bit to deglaze and stuff. No, I didn't say I'm pretty high, but I think you've said that um, at least a few times in this conversation. Tahini cashew sauce, yes. Now, with that being said, I ate a lot of processed foods for the first 18 years that I was vegan. And then the remaining, what, seven or eight, six or seven, seven, eight, however many years that is, um, I've tried to eat a little more health conscious and, you know, my health was good. So you got to take it in moderation, I guess. A lot of people say processed foods are really bad. There's a lot of processed foods, but there's also processed foods that aren't as bad as we say. People think processed food and they immediately think very bad for you. You know, when you start restricting yourself, for some people, it can become an eating disorder when you're trying hard to restrict certain things and then it's like you got all these temptations and you're trying very hard and then I think that's why certain people end up not being vegan. But if you're on a certain strict diet within a vegan diet, you know, it's it gets to the point where it can become an eating disorder. And if you are tempted to, to eat something, you, by no means do you have to not be vegan. There's so many things you could eat within you know, the, the realm of veganism, you can go say, okay, like I'm, I'm freaking out. I need something. Don't go and eat something not vegan. Go maybe have a vegan burger or maybe have a vegan pizza or, you know, a vegan snack food or something just because it's, it's process doesn't always like, it didn't kill me. And I was healthy after 18 years of eating just junk food, junk food, vegan. Um, so like I don't take I take it with a grain of salt when all these people come out here and so many people come on here and say, oh, what you just showed wasn't healthy. Well, my point isn't always to show something that's healthy. It's to show 
what's vegan. It's up to you to figure out what's healthy for you. I'm just trying to show vegan products out there. I'm not saying eat this or eat that. I'm saying this exists and I like it or this exists I've never had it. Maybe you guys would be interested in it. But it's not my job to say what is going to make me healthy because I know what I can eat. Like right now, I just had a donut out here. I don't normally do that. When I'm home, I make my own foods. I don't go out to eat very much. And for the most part, I eat pretty healthy. Um, and then when I feel like I'm not eating healthy, when I feel sluggish and when I feel uh, like I need to balance it out a little bit, I, I know how to do that. But in no way do I ever feel like I can't be vegan. Now, this is something that we were going to talk about in a video if I can meet up with them. But Happy Healthy Vegan and, and myself, we want to really address this. Um, do I use a dehydrator? I, I do. I have, and I have a, a really nice dehydrator. I have a Sedona, um, and it's great. And I have a few recipes on there. I haven't used it in a while, um, just because it's really big and bulky. And when I moved, I brought it back in, so I haven't mo I haven't used it since I, I moved back in the house. But I'd love to get it back out and use it because it's great for just throwing like cow chips or just whatever you want in there and dehydrating them. And you got a little, nice little snack. Wait, what? I'm having a hard time making grilled cheese with a vegan butter. It sticks to the pan. It sticks to the pan. What vegan butter are you using? So I suggest taking the butter out, getting it to room temperature so it's easily spreadable. I know that I don't always do this because sometimes I'm in a rush and I, you know, I'm impatient. But if you want the best grilled cheese, make sure it's room temperature. Get a nice um, cast iron or whatever you're using. Um, that's not going to stick to and spread it on the bread on both sides of, uh, of of each on one side of each piece of bread put the cheese on in the middle and then put it down sometimes I put a lid over the top so it makes the cheese melt even better and then nice golden brown flip it same thing you got a nice grilled cheese it shouldn't stick to the pan if that's the case it might be your pan it might be the temperature that you're on Go on a shopping trip with Mom Dre. She's legit and hilarious. You know, my my mom, not Mom Dre, but my mom actually at, was asking me to go on a shopping trip with her. Um, so maybe I'll do that because my mom's always like, well, I don't know what to buy. All right, Mom. You know, anything can happen to anybody. We could be here today and gone tomorrow. So yeah, you're right. Somebody could be on a perfect diet and then die, like, um, my brother's friends just died last month, okay? They were both like in their 30s and um, pretty healthy. One of them was extremely healthy, a, a runner. He is a pharmacist and was told that he had um, cancer and he was trying to fight it and he was gone within the same month, so... Um, it, it can happen to anybody. He was, I think he was only 35. Is a dehydrator pretty loud? My dehydrator is not loud. It's just like a little hum and it's down in the kitchen. So I don't, I don't hear it. It's not like, Whoa, just like a tiny little hum. M. Gardner says, still making my way through your awesome videos. Have you made Satan in any videos? Yes, we've made several Satan. It's literally some of the best Satan. And uh, we started early on, some of our earliest videos. I think the first time we made Satan was for our Philly cheesesteak. And that was like eight or nine years ago. But since then, we did like a, um, like a sweet Satan. We have a, a gyro or a hero uh, that we made Satan with. So I think we have like maybe three or four seitan recipes. We um, we make a seitan bacon for a BLT. I think that was that, or was that tempeh? Either way, there's, there's we have all like three three recipes. Uh, we have video, and they're also in the ebook. 
Market basket. I haven't heard of market basket, but that's cool. That's a pretty good price. We went out to dinner with Ange and Ryan and the Nadamu crew. Cesar and Noeg Craig. Um, I had a vegan chicken curry. Very good. Cesar got the shrimp. Vegan, of course. All vegan place. That's right, yes. Um, Google vegan zombie seitan. If somebody wants to pull it up, you can find it. Um, I just did one too recently, not too long ago. What did I make? I think it was over Thanksgiving or something. I made a seitan. Or maybe it was even longer ago than that. So yeah, I think we actually have four recipes for seitan. Very easy to make. You know, the, the funny thing is, is you could find wheat gluten in any store back in the day. And now it's like everybody's gluten free. Everybody's labeling things gluten free. And it's it's harder to find um, vital wheat gluten now. And that's how you make, that's how you make uh, seitan with gluten, very glutinous. The ancient monks used to do it thousands of years ago with just flour and water and they would they would knead it and they would get all and they would rinse it in the water and knead it until there was nothing left but just the seitan, the, the gluten. It's, it's, a, it's a longer process, but yes, people have been eating seitan for a very long time. When I go shopping with my mom, can I show making a grocery list too? Maybe some meal prep. I can, I, I can probably do that. See, I'm the kind of dude that I don't make lists, I don't make plans, I'm very bad at making commitments, so I like kind of just go with the flow because that's how life is, you know? I kind of just like, I'm gonna show up at the store, I don't have a list, unless there's something specific that I need to make, then I might put it in my phone, like I need to get this and this and this, don't forget it, but I, I usually have a pretty good memory, so that's very rare, but Yes, um, I probably should do that. See, John is the opposite. John always has to make lists and, and stuff like that. If you guys are wondering who John is, John is the other guy from Vegan Zombie back in the day, currently made his own YouTube channel. And I'm very proud, he's doing pretty well on that. Binge watch your videos like the other people binge watch. Now. Well, thank you. We have hundreds of videos, so I hope you guys like them. The only place you can find it, yeah, I couldn't find it at Wegmans. I, like, over the holidays, I found, like, uh, a couple things of them. They were, they were smaller packages. They were more expensive because they're not in demand anymore. Yes, I, yes, everything's saying gluten-free. Like, uh, the seventh generation, like, people put that on there, gluten-free. Um, um. Laundry detergent, gluten-free. You know what, guys? I just realized this phone is probably going to die any second now because it gave me the 10-minute warning, 10% 10 warning a little bit ago. I mean, it's up to you guys. The charger's right there. I could try to plug it in and we could keep going or we could call this and say goodnight. What do you guys think? Give me a quick... Give me a thumbs up while you're here. Um... Hit the thumbs up, give, give this video a thumbs up and let me know. Otherwise, we're just gonna, we're just gonna. Keep going, thumbs up, thumbs up. All right, if you guys keep having questions, we can go for a little bit longer. Let me try to plug this in real quick. Watch it die right as I'm trying to plug it in. Bam. Okay, we did it. We're good. All right. So we got mixed reviews. Some people are like, good night. You know, I'm forgetting because where I am right now, it's three hours difference. So for you guys on the East Coast, it's almost 1 a.m., and for me, it's not so late, but we had the daylight savings time over here. So some of you guys might be like, I got to get up early in the morning. I'm losing an hour and vegan zombies talking. I don't know what to do. Shut up, go to sleep. So I don't know. We're here. How do I look so young? I don't know, but if it was, if it, if it was, um, 
If it was my guess, I would say, because I hear that a lot. So I, I want to stay young, but I would say it would be my lifestyle. And, I, and I've said this in other videos, like I don't have a time machine to go back in time to do things differently to see if it was my lifestyle. But I'm straight edge and I'm vegan and, I've, and I've, I haven't eaten meat or dairy in many, many years. I've been vegan for 25, going, going on 25 this year. And if you heard earlier, this is 29 years this week. Um, vegetarian when I first went vegetarian so um, and I'm straight edge so that means well for me personally um, I've never tasted alcohol and I don't do I don't do any kind of drugs or smoke and I never have and I try to be as healthy as I can um, as far as outside influences and stuff like that so yeah, I don't always eat healthy, but I try to eat as healthy as I can. And it's also in the mind, you know, like in my mind, I'm, I'm not, I'm going to stay young and I'm going to live as long as I can. I feel like it's also a combination like of your lifestyle, but also in your mind too, because if I just said, well, you know, it's time to, to start dressing like an old man and start, you know, sitting around and reading the newspaper like, like, you know, not everybody, but some old people, that's what they do. Not to say, I, that's a bad example, but you know what I mean, you know what I'm trying to say, like, I, I feel like I'm trying to, in my mind, stay, you know, how I was when I was 20, you know? Like, I mean, I still skateboard, I skateboarded last summer, and I was pulling off all the same tricks that I used to, to, to skate when I was a teenager. So, you know, you got to do all the fun things that make you a kid. Right to spring, Fugazi. I'm just a patient boy. Drink, I drink red wine. So I've never drank wine either. I've never. Thank you all for you doing the best to eat sugary food. Check it out. So, Donut Friend. Yeah, Rosie. Donut Friend? You haven't seen Donut Friend? All vegan donuts here in LA. Um, I ate most of them. I shared one with Craig. Craig, Craig didn't even want to get any last night. I don't know why. But okay, so this is the only one that I have that's still in full. These are the best donuts that I've ever had in my life. I've been to a lot of donut places over the country. There's a lot of good ones. These are the best. Um, this one's half eaten, but it's like. It's got like a chocolate cookie butter in there and these are nice glazed donuts nice and airy and uh, this the, the they're all named after bands too like that one was the polar berry club and there was like a speculos I forgot what it was called I don't know all the bands there is a fugazi one too it's like a fudge gazi or something speaking of fugazi Old is good. Old is good for old. It's good to have a mixture of both. You're right. But for me, I need to stay young forever. I'm actually a vampire. I'm 150. No, but that would be cool. Like, I think it would be cool to like see her history unfold um, and be able to talk about it and see, you know, I don't know. Ramen Hood is amazing. I try to hit Ramen Hood up every time I come here. Um... I, I love ramen, and this is the best place to have ramen. It's actually the only place other than at home that I've had ramen. No, 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 no. I did have ramen in Syracuse, but it wasn't authentic. It was, all, it was like, what, rice, rice noodles instead? So it wasn't even ramen. Can someone be considered straight edge if they give up everything or only if they've never had any? No, no, no. Um, you know, it's not, it's, it's being drug free. So a lot of people, so for me, I was unique because I mean, there are, there are people that are, that are like me uh, as far as never, ever tasting alcohol or ever having anything, but it's kind of rare. Um, I have met a few people like that, um, but most people uh, they give it up. They say, I'm no longer drinking, I'm no longer doing drugs or, or anything like that anymore. 
Um, I just never did. And then when I heard the term straight edge, when I was 14, it was the same. It was around the same time that I went vegetarian. And I just said, that's me. That's me. And the other thing about it is um, all my life, even when I was younger, I never like it's stupid now. But yeah, when I was younger, I never gave into pure pressure. So I didn't care that I got because I, I got made fun of. And I had friends that, like, our entire summer vacation when I was in high school, like, school's out, summer vacation, and their mission was to get me uh, drunk. So um, they always failed, but, you know, stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, um, I, I guess I always wanted... It all started, I guess, if you guys want to hear this, say no, just say stop in Big and I, I won't even, we'll talk about something else. But if you guys want to hear it, I'll tell you the story about why I'm so health conscious, I think. And I guess nobody knows better than myself, so. Let's see. Uh, Babu, I'm already 40, but can pass as 28. You suddenly get old in your 40s. Well, I am in my 40s, so I hope I hope I don't get old. Babu. Rosie's husband is straight edge. That's awesome. So I'm from Syracuse. That was a big hardcore scene, but that's not why I went straight edge. Um, but it was a good thing to say. Like I identified it and I had a few friends that were nowadays, I, you know, I don't really have. And, and that's the other thing. People think, well, you know, you're straight edge and you don't drink, you don't smoke. You probably don't even want to hang out with me if I am. And it's like, no, not at all. Like I don't, I, I, my, you know, my whole family, my, my, my dad's a lifelong smoker. Um, my brothers and my friends, they all have a drink and I don't, I don't, it, this is just for me. Like this is, this is for me. Whereas, whereas veganism is for others and animals and all kinds and yourself and whatever but straight edge is purely for yourself um and a lot of people decide a lot of people decide to go sober and, and be straight edge but for me it was just something i identified with but yeah like earth crisis and stuff big straight edge band from syracuse where i'm from Yeah, the ramen hood broth, I think they make it with like, what is it, sesame seed or sunflower seed broth. It's, it's really good. So I've never, so this is another thing, I've never, so I've never tasted alcohol, but I've never even tasted coffee. I'll get to that. Okay, so we're going to tell this, but it's just because we're on and I don't know what else to talk about right now. Um, I, I'm not a Muslim. Um, but okay, so the first time that I can think about when I was health conscious, when I was about f four or five years old, um, we were in the car and we were driving. It was uh, at that point, my other brothers and sisters weren't born. Just my, just my, um, just one of my brothers was born. So I'm a little bit older than him. So we're both in the car and we're driving. We go to a gas station and I say, mmm, I love the smell of gas. And my dad says, don't smell gas because it'll kill your brain cells. And I was like, what? Like, I no longer cared that I liked the smell. I was like, I don't want my brain cells to die. So I was like, like that. So anytime from there on in, anytime I smelled like, you know, gas or, or strong odors like that, I would always like, you know, either try to, you know, not breathe it or walk away or get away from it ever since then. And, um... So that was the first time I can remember of being very health conscious. I always wanted to taste my parents' coffee. Now, I'm not saying coffee is bad for you, but for as a kid, at least for my parents, they said they didn't want me to drink coffee. And, you know, this is probably a myth, but what they told me, I'm like, well, why can't I try coffee? Why can't I have coffee? Why can't I have coffee? They said, well, it'll stunt your growth and you won't grow. So I'm like, I don't, I don't want to be this short the whole, my whole life. So I, I, at that point, I didn't drink coffee. Um, and then I wanted, um, you know, my dad smoked, so I wanted to smoke. And one day when he was walking inside, he flicked his cigarette on the ground and I ran over with my little brother. I'm like, let's try it. And he's like, yeah, 
I'm like, you go first. And so he tried it and he started coughing like really bad. So I was like, oh, I don't, I don't want to do that. So I, I didn't smoke. And then I really wanted to try, because my, my dad would drink beer. I wanted to try the beer. Or for the holidays, they would have like wine. I'm like, can I have some wine? Can I? No, you're too young. You can't have wine. I'm like, why not? So I was raised Catholic. And um, I don't know what age, like when you're like 12 or 13 or something, you make your first communion. So I, w I went to make my first communion. And when you make your first communion, for those of you who don't know, they give you like the piece of bread uh, and, and the wine, um, which um, is symbolic of the blood of Christ, whatever. So we're walking up. And I'm like, I'm gonna get to, I get to, get, I'm gonna try some wine, and you know what's, you know, my first communion. So as I'm walking up, I watch the priest drink it, and then kind of wipe it off, and then somebody else drinks it, and he wipes it off, and then somebody else drinks it, and I'm like, I was a germ freak. I'm like, oh my god, I, I don't want to drink out of the same cup that they drink out of. So I passed. I, I'm like, I don't want that. That's gross. So I didn't drink wine, and then a little bit later on. I was in, I think, seventh grade, and I was in health class, and they showed us um, a slideshow with a healthy liver, and then a liver that was cirrhosis of the liver, and then they showed us healthy lungs, and then smoker's lungs. And, and I looked at it, and I, I understand that you need to drink a lot of alcohol to have your liver all pickled in cirrhosis of the liver, but in my brain, I was like, well, if that's what a lot, a lot of alcohol does to you, then I don't even want any of that. I want none. So at that point, I didn't, I wasn't, I didn't really, like when all my other friends, they were like, they wanted to start, you know, experimenting with drinking and stuff, I didn't. And then as I got a little bit older, then I, when I was 14, I, I heard the term straight edge. And that is also the same time I went vegetarian 29 years ago. And I just identified with that. And I no longer, like, I had other friends that I met a few years later that were also like that. And and uh, and then, so we were, like, you know, just a group. We didn't need to, to do that to have fun or anything. And and I've just been that way all my life ever since then. So, um, you know, I don't, I don't think it's a bad thing to judge other people for what they do or anything like that at all. Like, that's not, I don't think I'm better or anything like that. Uh, just for personally, I... Like, I want to be as healthy as possible. And then, you know, fast forward, and I have a whole video on this if you guys want to hear more in depth, but um, I hurt my back um, back in 2009, 2009-ish, uh, really bad. Um, and I, I got sciatica. So, so I know what it's like to be, you know, to live without any ailments, to be healthy and not live in pain. But I also know what it's like to live every second of every minute of every hour of every day in pain because I had, I, I did something to my back and I gave myself um, the very worst um, case of sciatica that one can have. So if any of you guys have sciatica, usually when people get sciatica, it lasts a week or two and then it goes away. Mine was so bad, it went all the way down to my heel of my right leg. And for those of you who don't know what sciatica, it's a very painful, it's like a pinched nerve in your lower back, but you feel it all the way down your leg. And it's not like a sharp pain, it's just like a, a always there pulsing, blunt pain. I can't even describe it, it sucks. And it's just, it's always there. There's no time of the day that it doesn't hurt. And it was diminishing my quality of life because I couldn't do things. Like I couldn't, like if somebody's like, here, help me move this. I'm like, uh, if I did, I'd be, I'd regret it later that night. Cause it would be, it would hurt 10 times what it would do. I, I couldn't sleep at night. Um, it sucked. And so finally I went to the doctor and I kind of diagnosed myself and the doctor was like, yeah, you're right. Um, and they wanted to do all these other things. Uh, so they, I, I went to like physical therapy that didn't do anything. And I kind of knew it wasn't going to do. I'm like, I don't think there's anything that I'm going to do that is going to relieve this pain, this, this pain that I have. And then they want to give me like steroid injections. And I'm like, well, no, I don't want that. Like, and that was partly because I'm, I, I don't take medicine and stuff like that. So being straight edge, like that's the other thing. I won't take medicine unless I'm, 
Um, if I'm going to die, I will take medicine. If I'm deathly ill, I'll take medicine. But I, I will say this, when I went, and, I, and some of you might know this if you watch my videos, but when I went vegetarian and I also went, um, I went vegetarian and straight edge, like, well, I was always straight edge, but I went vegetarian when I was 14. Um, all the way up until then, I would have really, really, really bad, you know, like headaches whenever I got sick, pounding headaches. And nothing seemed to work. My mom would give me aspirin or Tylenol, and she said, here, you'll feel better. And I would be like, okay, I'm feeling better, but I wasn't, and nothing ever worked. Um, but ever since I stopped doing that and I stopped eating meat, I can tell you that was 29 years ago. I have never had a headache again in my life. I'm going to knock on wood right now. Just I don't want a headache, but I haven't had a headache in almost 30 years. Um, thrifting from scratch. Thank you so much for the donation. Uh, so glad I caught you live and watching your videos for years. Thank you for sharing and teaching so much. Thank you. I'm glad you like these videos. Um, so yeah, I had the worst pain and I didn't want any steroid injections. I'm just like, you know, I can't do this. And I went to one specialist and they, they said something. Then finally I went to another specialist. I'm like, look, it's, it was two, it's been two years that I'm living every single day in pain. And I'm like, I said to him, and I was like, what, how old was I at the time? Maybe 34 or 35. I'm like, I'm only like in my 30s and I feel like I'm in my 70s. I feel like I'm at the end of my life. I can't, I feel like I can't continue living the rest of my life like this. There's no way. I, I was just thinking in front. I'm like, I can't live the rest of my life like this. I'm in so much pain. And like, like, like for instance, I, if I went to a movie at a movie theater, I'd be sitting in the chair and it, it would hurt and everything. But then afterwards, when we would get ready to leave, I would, I would stand up and like, I could normally only stand up like with a hunch because it, it hurt so bad, but I would obviously in front of all these other people so I didn't look ridiculous, I would stand straight up and then I would just like fake it, but I was like in so much pain. So I would just, just put on a normal face and stuff. And then other people started getting annoyed with me because I'd be like, oh, and they're like, oh, is it your back again? And like people don't understand these like things that are, they can't see a physical thing. So anyways, I told my doctor, I'm like, I can't live my life like this anymore. And he said, he said, well, we can do two things. You're going to either live like this the rest of your life, and it's going to feel like this the rest of your life, or I can give you a surgery. And I was like, I've never had a surgery in my life. I didn't want a surgery. I was like against, I was like, oh, man. I'm like, well, I can't continue to live like this. I feel so old. And, you know, every time I would stand up, my heart rate would go just because I was, like, in so much pain. So I got it. I got their surgery. And... It was the best decision I made that entire year. And I remember going home that day after my surgery and laying in my bed with both of my legs like straight. I couldn't I couldn't sleep with both my legs straight. I had to have one curled up just to get a little bit of relief, even though it wasn't completely. And at that point, I just had both of my legs straight and I just laid there and there was no pain. And I just started laughing. I was like so happy. And um, yeah, so that's my story. So. I have a whole video on that if anybody has sciatica. So so basically what I'm trying to say in this long blown out story was that I know what it's like to be in pain and I know what it's like not to be in pain. So I do everything that I can to be in the best health that I can. And like some people say like, you know, you better do whatever you want because you only live once. But like, yeah, you're right. If I only live once, I want to live as healthy as I can. I want to live as long and healthy as I can while I'm living. I don't want to like do all this stuff to regret it later on because I'm like living the second half of my life um, in so much pain. So like I get it. Like if, if anybody's out there, like I feel so bad for people that, that are living in pain every day and there's people like that and it's like, it sucks. You know, I'm, I'm lucky that I was able to get that surgery. It was called a micro discectomy. They basically went in and they moved my sciatic nerve and they took the part of my, uh, the disc in my, in my back and they, they cut it off. And honestly, what I think, I don't know for sure, um, but I would like, I would slouch a lot and I would sit there and I'd be a gamer and I would like sit in the chair slouched all the time, you know, while I was playing games. So like now I, I try to make an effort to, to sit with good posture and everything and never lift like, you know, like, I'm not afraid of this. Like, I'll just be like, look, guys, um, I, I'm not trying to be the person that's not helping out here, but 
I can't lift really heavy things. I don't even want to risk lifting really, really, really heavy things and ruin my back again. Um, but whatever it is, um, that was that surgery that I had was February 2011. So since then, I've been completely fine and pain free. So yeah. Um, and I didn't go to a chiropractor, no. Um, I went to a, um, a physical therapist that tried several different things, different poses. Uh, I downloaded, well, no, I don't think I downloaded, but I had like some uh, information of some stretches that I could do. Some people, some people change the definition to be no physical intimacy, but that's not my definition. Like straight edge is drug free, poison free in my system. Um, no drugs, no alcohol. And again, the only, so when I came out of that surgery, for instance, they wanted to give me pain pills and I refused to take them and they weren't happy about that. But I was like, look, I lived, I've just lived two years of my life in pain. And they're like, well, you know, when you, uh, obviously they knocked me out with whatever they gave me, but they're like, when you come around, you're, you're going to regret it. And I'm like, well, then if I do, I do. And it was fine. Like I, I, I never took pain pills since I was 14. Yeah. Certain positions are better for me. Um, sleeping, um, I normally am more comfortable sleeping. I've always been comfortable sleeping on my stomach, but that doesn't always work for my back. Um, so sleeping on my side, I can't sleep on my back because two things. Um, I get, even though I'm, I'm not overweight and I'm completely healthy, if I sleep on my back, I get sleep apnea and I don't breathe. And that's scary because sometimes it's probably for minutes at a time. And then... Uh, I also sometimes, if I'm on my back, I'll sleep with my eyes open. My friends have like had conversations with me because my eyes are like so far open, they think I'm actually awake. But um, that's bad because it dries out my eyes and stuff like that. And I feel like that's not good. So I stomach sleeper and side sleeper. Are you serious? G what? That's crazy. You burnt your, I, I do have, I have OCD, but not like that. Like I, I, but I get what you're talking about. Like I'm weird for like certain things that I have to say in my head or do in my head. Um, oh yeah. Somebody, so uh, Jillian had a hip replacement. So yeah, it's just, it's like day and night when you ha when you're in pain every day and then all of a sudden you're not and, and it sucks when you have to live in pain. So I, I like, I try, like I stay active. I exercise every single day. Um, I try to, I, you know, I stay fit if, um, and, and I do, I balance my food. Like when I come out here, I will eat out at restaurants and try foods and make videos and stuff like that. But you know, I make sure I work out and then like, and then I'll eat really, really healthy foods, you know, but I was just in an expo. So I wanted to try a lot of the foods to see what I liked, what I didn't like, and what I could recommend to you guys. I don't like recommending things that I've never tried. So Chris, why aren't you married? Well, that goes part of my like, I never want to grow up. I, I <laughs> my younger, my younger brothers and sister are all married. And some of them have kids, and I, I just, I, I don't want to get married. At least not for another 50, 60 years. Yeah. So J Jason, totally. Like, if I could um, remember that every time. Yeah. So Jason also looks like he's had the the same surgery I had. Puts a pillow between his legs when he sleeps. Yeah, that would. Like, but be between your knees or something. Milk is good for heartburn. Yeah, like oat milk, the thicker the milk, the better. Like oat milk or cashew milk 
is probably a little bit better. Also for heartburn, immediate relief. Now, ever since I started eating a little bit healthier about six or seven years ago, I have never had a heartburn again, but I used to get it. I used to I like wake up, I'm like, oh my God, and this doesn't really taste good, but if you want immediate relief without taking drugs or whatever, take a little bit of baking soda, put a little bit of water in it, drink that, boom, instant relief. Vegan Phoenix suffers from migraines. I think I used to get migraines when I was a little kid and that is not fun. But like I said, I haven't had a headache in almost 30 years and I don't, the only thing that I can think of is, you know, I went vegetarian at that time and I, I mean, I was already straight edge, but I stopped taking, I stopped taking medicine, like the medicine that my mom would give me. So, those are two things that I did. And it, I mean, it could have been the hormones or whatever was in the meat before I was a vegetarian. Am I still oil free? I don't use any, I mean, some of these products that I had at the expo, um, like there's probably oil in the walnut, but like from the walnut, but not extra oil. So like nuts and stuff like that. But yeah, I don't cook with oil. I don't add oil to my foods in any way. Um, and I feel good. Um, Sarah lives in Berlin, Germany. I was just talking to my friend last night from Germany, because I don't know if you caught this, but I went to an all vegan German restaurant last night, Hinterhof. No way, Craig, uh, uh, you want to know why Chris looks so young? His real name isn't Chris. It's Nicholas Flamel. Craig, don't get my stuff away, man. Chris Kringle. Exposed. Yeah, I, I have, I have, um, I have friends that, that smoke it. Some people ask you, oh, you're straight edge. You probably, um, I, it doesn't bother, it doesn't bother me what other people. So, like, I feel like they should like completely legalize um, marijuana, but I don't want to smell it. You know what I'm saying? Like, like do, like do what you want to do. I don't care, but I don't want to smell it. Like, I don't want to smell. I don't want to breathe it, you know? So there's got to be a place to go to do it, you know? Fine and peaceful and smoke it. Thanks for teasing. You know, I'm about ready to take a bite of that donut, but I feel like, what else can I have? I had some nice uh, turmeric shots of uh, nice juice. Really good cleansing ginger and turmeric shots. Yeah. This is fun. I like answering these questions with you guys. Um, what time is it anyway? It's like 10 o'clock here. P.S. I love the beard. Why did you retire from the FBI? I was never in the FBI. The FBI was my goal. That was my dream job at the time. I never made it into the FBI. I was, um, I was a federal investigator. I was a special investigator under the United States Office of Personnel Management. So I would do national security clearances, like I, I've worked in the Pentagon, stuff like that. And that was my, what I was hoping to be my stepping stone to get into the FBI. I didn't get in the FBI because I reached the age limit. And that's around the time that I really was like, you know, it's not gonna happen for me. Um, what can I do? I don't wanna do this the rest of my life. And that's when I created the vegan zombie. When I created the vegan zombie, that was my new passion. Before that, my passion was to do everything to get in the FBI and, you know, having a clean record, never doing drugs and stuff like that. And, you know, just learning as much as I could to educate myself um, to try to get in the FBI was what I was doing. So it didn't happen, but that's okay because I wouldn't be here talking to you if I made it in the FBI. 
I'm actually much happier with, I'm, with what I'm doing now. Anyway, look what I got. Oh, the Win Hoth. Yeah, that's very interesting how he can um, cure disease and withstand extreme colds and stuff like that. Yeah, maybe I secretly do that and I don't even know some of those techniques. Zombie, try some of the samples you got from the expo. What nut almond? I am in LA right now, yes. Yeah, I often say, you know, I, I, I actually like vampires better than zombies. And I often say that I'm a vampire pretending to be a human, pretending to be a zombie. How's that one? Seven says, are you useless? Am I useless? Yes, I'm, I'm useless. Um, this brother was an FBI. That's cool. Yeah, I used to be like, for me back then, like it would be like, I'd be more starstruck if I saw an FBI agent than if I actually saw like a celebrity because I was, a, that was my goal. Like everything I did, like when I decided that I wanted to be in the FBI, I started going to school and get, I got the best grade. And before that, like I wasn't, I wasn't an A student when I was in high school. I mean, I was a good student, but I was like a C or B. But then when I actually wanted to learn and I went to college and, and do all of this to get to a goal, like I was getting like, like really, really good grades. But outside of that, like I was doing things like I was memorizing like the fact finders and I was teaching myself another language apart from what I was learning in school. Like I was doing everything to educate myself to be a better fit for the FBI because it's so competitive to get in the FBI. And that was my goal. And I applied for that and I got, and I went and I took the test, which I, I took this crazy test in Albany, New York. And it was a written test. And I left there so bummed out. I'm like, there's no way I passed this. This was so hard. And then I got a letter from them in the mail. I got a picture of it still. My dad, my dad's like, hey, smile. And he took a picture. Uh, not on a camera phone, because this was a long time ago. So I didn't want to open that. I didn't even open that letter for two days because I was like, as soon as I open this, it's over because they're going to tell me that I failed. Sorry, thanks for coming. So finally I open it up. I'm like, all right, I'll open it. I pull it out. Congratulations, you passed. I'm like, oh my God. Like, I couldn't believe I passed it. And then, um, and then everything was put on hold for like the next, and that's how I got sciatica. I was training for the physical fitness for the FBI test. And I started... I started doing these, I, I did an exercise wrong. Be careful guys, if you find exercises, um, make sure you're doing them right. I did an exercise wrong that was from the 300 exercise. You know the movie 300? And they said, you know, the, the, the guys from 300 did a 300 exercise. Well, I did one of those exercises wrong and I messed up my sciatic nerve, my, my lower back. And I thought I just pulled like a hamstring, but that was the beginning of complete painful next two years of my life, so. I actually came up with the name The Vegan Vampire before I came up with The Vegan Zombie, but <clears throat> I came up with a better story for The Vegan Zombie, so I ended up going with The Vegan Zombie instead of The Vegan Vampire and The Vegan Werewolf. Dairy feet, dairy free tofuti. Tofuti, yeah, tofuti is, has always been one of my favorite cheeses. Those tofuti singles are really, really good. Tofuti uh, cream cheese is really good. And tofuti cuties are really good. If you guys can still find, <coughs> find those. What did I just swallow? I need some water. <coughs> um, <coughs> what? <coughs> I think I just lost my voice. <clears throat> uh, 
Um, Mia, I already did videos like that. Wow, my voice is gone. <clears throat> I guess that's not good when we're live. So Mia, yes, I can do more of those, but I've done vegan on a budget, and actually that um, that was influenced by a college student that asked me to do it. So for under $30 a week, I did um, shopping on a budget, and since then I've done a few, and then I went ahead and I showed what I made with some of that stuff. In general, do I swear yes all the time? No, I'm not an agent. I no longer I no longer work for them. Um yeah, I usually go to Expo East. There's only one Expo East that I didn't attend in the last 5 years. So, I always go to Expo East and Expo West. Um, Jennifer, yes, that's correct. Um, yeah, I, I don't, I probably won't talk about it in this one. I did talk about it in a, in a podcast I did, but I don't, I don't remember where that link is. There is an age cutoff for the FBI. At the time, it was 37. Uh, Derek, no offense taken, and no. Twilight. Well, I don't sparkle, I don't think. <clears throat> a painter 68 says I love indie so do I and more indie videos yes I agree I actually did a video with Indy that is not posted yet but he is playing with all of his toys he's very selfish with his toys if you pick up one of his toys he'll grab that toy so then you're like okay I'll grab this toy and then he'll be like no I want that toy too and then you grab this toy and he's like no Nope, and he won't let you touch his toys. And he'll even bring it over to his food dish when he's eating. He'll put it right in his food dish and eat around it. So, he's pretty cute. Uh, John, thank you. Thank you so much. You know, I've always hated my voice on when I hear it back, but a few of you guys have said that it, you, it, it was soothing and you liked it and it was like a radio voice. So I don't know if that's the case or if you're just trying to say good things, but that was that definitely made me feel like, wow, that's, that's pretty cool. Um, maybe I can do some live streams then. I, I would do it anyway, even if you guys didn't like my voice. Yes. German Shepherds are amazing. Indy the Pup is amazing. Yes, Noah Craig also. So between my channel and Noah Craig channels, you can find a lot of vegan on a budget videos, shopping on a budget, what you can make with it, um, some suggestions on cheap meals, some healthy meals, um, delicious at, at the same time. Thank you, Painter. Can anyone attend New England Vet Trust? Yes, yes, I've been there a few times. Anyone can go, and I think it's a free. I think it's a free one too. Yeah, two two hours isn't that bad. That would that would be worth it. Um, going to New England Veg Fest, uh, you get to check out uh, all the vegan. You know the the food, the the swag. Um, Probably some speakers are going to be there and just like a lot of people just having fun. I do have, I don't think I have an accent, but people say, oh, you have an accent. Je me regal. What does that mean? Sometimes... Wegmans has sweet potatoes on sale for like 39 cents a pound and I'll just stock up on like so many sweet potatoes for Andy the Pup. So many.
Um, yeah, I would. Well, out of the oils, they say, or at least Dr. Greger says that olive and canola are probably the better oils for you. Uh, Esselstyn says no oils whatsoever. Um, but I would stay away from the satur the highly saturated oils, which are like palm oil and coconut oil. So I was wrong about coconut oil. I always thought that it was the healthy one. So I, I cooked a lot of my foods with coconut oil a few years back. So I, would, I, I don't do that anymore, none. And I try not to eat anything with oils in them, with coconut oil in them. I was gonna stay in town till Vegan Street Fair, but I have to go home um, uh, for family stuff. So I'll be, I'll be leaving in a couple days. What is one piece of kitchen equipment I couldn't do without? I use my blender just about every day and I also use the air fryer um, almost every day as well. But a good high speed blender, I make, I usually start my morning off with a smoothie and that, that fills me up until, you know, mid lunchtime. Um, I also have a juicer, which I, I don't do as often as I'd make smoothies, but um, every so often I'll make a juice with the juicer. Coconut oil did have the whole country fooled. You've never heard Gregor say eating. I'm pretty sure I just watched a video, one of his earlier videos, early 2000, where he talks about the bad ones and then the good ones. And um, he does say that the, the olive and the, and the canola are the better ones. And then he says the higher ones, like the, the palm and the coconut, are bad. So I, that was less than a month ago I watched that video. Uh, both your parents are from Endicott. Yep, I know where that is. What is my favorite restaurant in LA area? Um, I have to go to Sun Cafe every time I'm here. It's, it's, it's amazing. They have a raw cacao shake that I always get. Their pizza is great. They always have a monthly special. This year, this uh, month it was like Polenta, I gotta edit the video. I have a video, so I gotta edit that. But like a polenta and um, they, uh, it just really, really good stuff there. Um, a lot of raw vegan stuff too as well. Um, I love I love ramen when I come here. Donut Friend, if you want your donuts, you want the snacks, I, I say go to Donut Friend for that. Um, there's an all vegan Italian place called Pura Vita. Really good down there too on, I think it was on Melrose. Um, yeah, I, I don't mix anything in a KitchenAid. I don't, I don't do anything at that capacity yet. So I mix all my doughs and everything by hand. I used to have a Ninja blender. They're great. What about, I, I eat avocados. Um, like I don't eat them every day, but a few times a week I'll eat avocado. Uh, go actually, uh, Philip uh, says, I haven't seen John in your videos in a long time. John, I just got John to make a brand new video and it tells uh, the reason why he hasn't been in the video in a while. But I actually got him to start his own YouTube channel. So he's been posting, I think he just posted a video a day or two, but he's got about five or six videos up there right now. Brand new channel. And um, probably mean the world for him to, for everybody to go subscribe to his channel. And you can find his channel by going to my channel and go to my feature channels and he's just John. So go over there, subscribe to him. Um, yeah. We did a vegan shamrock shake. I think last year me and Cesar did a shamrock shake with some Nadamu. Definitely check that out. Uh, and, and I also have um, 
if you land on my main page, it should come up. But I don't. Anyway, there's um ten spots in one day in LA, and me and Cesar we go to ten vegan restaurants here in the LA area, uh, and you can check that out too. So there's a, there's a lot of places. LA is the vegan mecca. It's the best place I've ever been to for vegan. Ramen Hood is great for ramen. Tatsu has a really good ramen, but Tatsu is not an all vegan place. They have a vegan option. GF Piper, I totally agree. Um, uh, th and that's and that's partly why I made my channel. It's more of like showing people that want to learn in a fun and entertaining way. Um, but at the same point, like I get where other people are coming from. It's just the way that they approach it. Yeah, it's crazy here. The traffic here is like, that's the thing that I don't like. I wish, I wish I had, I wish I had money to just be like, uh, Uber, take me here, take me there. Which right now, Cesar is kind of my Uber driver. <laughs> Indie montage, um, Google uh, Indie's Lullaby, if you haven't seen that video. It's probably our best Indie video. Uh, Painter uses videos from this channel, thank you. Good to hear when people use our use our recipes or watch our videos. I'd love to go to Melbourne. I've never been there. One dollar vegan ramen noodles. Vegan zombie gear available. Well, I do have a web store and I ha I print my own shirts. Um, I know a lot of people contract out, but I'm in the garage printing my own shirts and I sell them. Um, I used to have other kind of swag. I have an ebook. Um, very limited physical copies left. So other than that, like I want to start making aprons again. And I was talking about that cutting board, just uh, some different things, maybe some pins, some, um, I want to do beanies and hats. There's a lot I want to do. Cause I've been doing that since I had the channel. So I've been having my own clothing line, which I mean, it's not, it's, I don't really promote it that often. Like I don't sell that much, but I should probably promote it to help pr uh, support the channel. Um, but I've been doing it for 10 years. I've been always, you know, like I need to do, th I do everything myself pretty much. So I have thought about having somebody else contract out to, you know, save me the time, but I'm always in the garage printing shirts when I sell them. Sometimes I bring them to a veg fest and I sell a bunch there too, which is cool, but I don't always go to veg fest. Room hug, <laughs> room hug, hug everybody, ready? Ah. Uh, David's been doing better with the, with the cravings. Uh, Perth, Australia. I sparkle? Um, yeah, it, yeah, it's, uh, on the East Coast, at least, it's, it's, uh, it's a one, is there anybody here from Europe? It might even be morning for you right now, probably, or have you not gone to bed yet? I also want to do vegan, um, like, novel, like, uh, I've always wanted to do, like, a vegan zombie hot sauce. Um, not too hot because I don't like hot, but just a little bit, you know, just like that Frank's Red Hot, you know, put on your, 
breakfast burrito or whatever. I put it on everything pretty much. I don't put it on my cereal. Um, hot sauce without sodium. I don't know that that is that really still hot sauce then? Is it good? Well, I think I've got through all the questions now, and I think we've been on here for 170 minutes. You do the math. So thank you guys for staying on this long. We, we have quite a few people watching um, compared to most streams. Thank you. I'm glad you liked it, and um, give us a thumbs up on this if you haven't already, and have a great night. I'll, I'll be posting some of my other videos soon to come.